first order of business. Make sure my controller works. Second order of business. Make sure the audio is fine because for some reason, the audio just stopped playing in my headset. It's really weird. I don't know why that happened. Third order of business. I'm just gonna lower the volume on my side of things. Game tends to get pretty loud for me. Oh, Corpse Party, how your audio never ceases to amaze me. Anyways, welcome back, one and all. I think my voice just cracked, I'm not sure. Welcome back, one and all, to more Corpse Party, Blood Drive. Where we last left off, we were getting chased down a hallway by a mannequin and some crazy bitch that kept saying, Naito, 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 and just kept chasing me. I hid in a closet, and they threw my ass out the closet. I thought I was safe, so, you know, all that happened. And since then, we've just been, uh, we've just been playing, what is it? Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. One of these days, that sequel will come out. Anyways, where the fuck did I leave off? I think these are like the same save. <laughs> I started getting worried. Okay. So here's where we left off. On the story side of things, I think Satoshi, Naomi, and Miss Kuan finally made their way over to uh over to Heavenly Host. And I went I went to go look for them while I was getting chased. I hope I, I was hoping I can find them in the other, you know, building, but that didn't work. Then I started running around, didn't know where to go. Uh so I, I guess, I think the only place I, I tried the gym, right? Yeah, I tried the gym. I guess the only place I didn't check, well, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of places I didn't check. I don't know. I know I said I didn't want to check the pool side, but I think I should check the pool side. I also forgot the controls, by the way. <laughs> Oops. So, I don't think we need to see this. We see this like what? Five times I think I died to this. What's the speed up button? There it is. Still have no idea who that girl is. Oh shit, <laughs> they gave me control right away. Alright. I'm gonna run to the pool. Oh! Okay. Seems like running to the pool work. I didn't think that would actually work. I just, you know. <laughs> There's a candle there, too. Oh. I think I lost him. I think I closed the door in front of them. I think I lost them, guys. Shinazaki, where are you? Huh. Well, since I don't have to deal with that anymore, I <laughs> think I should just... I think I should just give myself a little... A little ha. Some of that action. I would think that we wouldn't want to come back to the pool, but I guess here's what we're doing. Shinozaki. There's no way she'd be in the pool, right? I hope not. Whose fucking hand is that? There's an in an order what? An ordinate? Hmm. An ordinate number of flies buzzing around the spigot. Turns out it's because someone shoved the severed arm into it. How's my darkening doing, by the way? Okay, we're pretty good. We're doing fine. I guess Shinozaki's just... Did she leave? Yeah, of course she left, right? She wouldn't stay by the pool. I wouldn't stay by the pool. Pool is dangerous. It was dangerous in, in White Day. It's dangerous in this game. This is like the second time we almost died near this pool. Damn it! I told her wait. 
Where the hell did she go? Miss Kuan? That was... Class Rep? Guess we're back to Satoshi and gang. Um... If I remember... Oh, I remember now. She was... She left the pool searching for... For, um... For Yoshiki. And then we got surrounded by, like... By, like, fucking five different axe dudes coming after us. And they all just disappeared. And I think Miss Kuan is being chased by a ghost right now. <laughs> huh. I guess we can head to the pool? I wanna... There you go, I wanna get rid of this tripwire. I'm gonna head to the pool. See if I can run into Kishinuma. It would make sense, right? Oh, there's glass right there. Let's step around. Kishinuma, we're here to say hello. We can all team up. Safety in numbers. Let's see. Is there no number of flies? Okay, yep. Alright. Says the same thing. I thought because I was playing as Satoshi again. You know who we haven't seen a lot of? Naomi. Take the take the helm. Take the helm, Naomi. We haven't seen you for a while. I don't think it's good for Naomi to be in the school right now when she has a hex on her eyeball. You know, give the ghost a little bit more power. Kishinuma! You down here, buddy? The door to the pump room is wide open, but there's nothing of note inside. Okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that... So are we not in the same plane of existence? Alright, well, shit. Guess I can head over to the, um... I don't know, maybe the gym? Or maybe we can head over to the... Well, we just came from the second building, right? So it wouldn't make any sense for us to head over to the second building. I'm gonna head towards the gym. Maybe we can find something in the gym. I don't want to run, though, just in case I run into some, some, uh, not fun, spooky guys. You're not our teacher. Our teacher isn't you. What? Ayumi? Shinozaki, where are you? Go home, Miss Kuan. Just go home. What? Shinozaki, what's happened? What? My flashlight! I'm defenseless now. Class rep? We came here from a different world. I don't know who you are. Okay. It's okay, Shinozaki. Are you alright? Are you hurt? At all? That's not... That's... Just go. Don't try to act like a teacher. You're a phony, and I won't be taken in by your lies. Oh, come on. Don't hurt her feelings. Miss Kuan? Stop. Don't come in, Satoshi. Do as Miss Kuan says. I trust her. Oh, shit. The light from the classroom shone into the hallway, lightly casting my shadow across the floor. And there, right by it, another smaller shadow appeared as well, swinging an axe at me. Naomi? Whoa! <laughs> I immediately instinctively ducked. Satoshi? What the hell was that? Are you okay, Satoshi? Yeah? What happened? 
I don't know. I just listened to my teacher. That's what I did. I have faith in her. She said, get out of here. I was like, all right, all right, you're the boss. We were both frozen in fear by what just had occurred. You're okay. Teach. But then out popped Miss Kuan from the depths of the classroom, who, with shocking strength, grabbed our arms in our ha grabbed our arms in her hands and ran like the wind. Whoa, Miss Kuan. You have to get away from here. Run. Okay. Nice to know I avoided near death. Thanks for the advice, Teach. Miss Kuan. Was that Shinozaki's? No need to worry. That was a lie created by a buildup of malicious energy. It was just an illusion. Really? Really. You don't need to be concerned. I'm just glad you both made it through in one piece. Her face was covered in sweat and she was clearly exhausted. But she still managed to smile at us reassuringly. In spite of this, however, her hands were shaking violently, belaying her composure. Belaying? Belying? Hmm. Aren't you afraid, Miss Kuan? Don't fucking axe that! What's wrong with you? Yumi squeezed Miss Kuan's hand sympathetically. Hmm. Yes, I suppose I am. I'm scared too. Miss Kuan, please don't push yourself so hard. I don't want anyone else to die. And she's... As she said this, Naomi hugged Miss Kwan. Thank you, Nakashima. Who's getting fucked up over there? <laughs> Who's getting beat up? Oh, guess we're gonna check it out, cause we're just a bunch of dumbass. Uh, I feel like I was gonna say dumbass white people, but we're not. We're all Asian. Satoshi, you go first. I don't want to trip over that. There we go. Snap it. Oh, there's a good old piss bucket. Hey there, some kind of viscous, chunky liquid in the bucket that looks to be equal parts of blood and vomit. Oh, it's not a piss bucket. I miss piss bucket. Piss bucket's my favorite. Let's make sure, did we actually save this time? Of course we did. All right, let's move on. Oh, my battery's running out. Squeeze every last bit of juice I got in this bad boy. Why did that door make a glass shattering sound effect? Miss Kuan, that's, it is, come on, okay. Now, was that a come on, we're going in, or was that a come on, get the fuck away from here? Oh! Damn it, Shinazaki! Shinazaki, I'm sorry. You're shaky! I faded into existence. Damn it! Hey, what's that item over there? Yoshiki, you okay? Kishinuma. Kishinuma. Satoshi, why are you... Nakashima, Miss Kuan. I told you, the worst thing in the world is not knowing what happened to someone. And you went and disappeared on us anyways. I guess I did. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. Well, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. If you're ever in trouble, I'll find you no matter where you are. So don't even think about suffering through this sort of thing on your own anymore, okay? Now, Kishinuma, kiss me. You're a real piece of work, you know that? We reached the mutual understanding, and as a show of good faith and friendship, we fist bumped on it. And then we slipped each other some handies when the girls weren't looking. 
But then Ozuna began to moan. I have no idea who to... Who is that? So anyways, what's the situation? Where's Shinazaki? Bad news there. I was with her for a while, but we got separated. This girl named Magari confronted us at the pool and stole something important from her. So I told her to wait there while I chased Magari down to get it back. But, of course, not only did I lose track of Magari, I also came back to find Shinazaki gone. Why would you leave the glass rep alone in here? You know better than that. That's what I fucking said. He said, hey, I know we just died. We almost died in the pool. But stay here, okay? Outside, in the rain. I had no choice. Without that thing Magari stole, we won't be able to get back home. No need to worry about that. We can go back making use of Miss... Oh, what? We can go back using Miss Kuan's stones. I like to use some of her stones, you know what I'm talking about? Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha, yeah, it was a shitty joke. Anyways, they're how we got here in the first place. Whoa, you serious? We are Kishinuma. So let's all resume your search for Shinazaki and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, okay. This child has already succumbed to the darkening. It's a pitiful fate, but there's nothing more to be done for her now. We should make a retreat. Oh, so that's an actual person. Who the fuck is... Who's Asuna? <laughs> Was she... She might have been introduced in, uh... In, uh... uh what's her name? In Sachiko's birthday bash, because I haven't played that game. She might have been introduced there. Asuna? I have no idea who the fuck that is. Sounds good. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, that was the end of the chapter. I stopped the stream near the end of the chapter? <laughs> Oops. Soulful testimony from Tomozuki. Tomozuki. Tomo. Ah, oh God. Tomokazu Su Sugita? I don't, what the fuck? I'm not Japanese. I'm not even going to pretend that I am. Would you like to save your system data? Of course. New chapter, baby. Chapter 6. Looks like we're getting close to the finish line. Blood Drive, Chapter 6, The Book of Shadows. Kishinuma's probably looking all over for me by now. Maybe I should head back. Though, I really do need to do some bullshit. <laughs> the fuck is this music? Hey, there's a rave happening in here, okay. All right. I feel it. Though I really do need to unseal all the pillars as soon as I possibly can. Dun, 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 dun. Save right here. Alright. So... So far, we have four out of the five pillars? Or is there six? Oh, God. I don't even... Oh, I still have the cube. And what the fuck did she take away from me? Was It wasn't the stones. Oh, wait. No, it was the stones. It's the ones from the pillars. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this dubstep shit playing? <laughs> okay. Okay, course party. This is a horror game, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh no, <laughs> oh no, I have 15 play, I have 15 hours of play in this game, what the fuck, what the hell have I been doing, alright, how do I run again, <laughs> let me get, uh uh, tripwire, tripwire, ah, oh, fuck, I'm dead, why do you gotta be so close to the tripwire, I stopped to press the button, I wasn't close enough, so I moved up a little bit so that I wouldn't get hit in the head. I fucking got hit by the tripwire. <laughs> then got hit in the head. Still couldn't deactivate the tripwire, so I moved up again and then got hit by the tripwire and died. What the hell? That's why you save your game. 
Oh no. I forgot Yuka's in. Oh no. Oh no, not Yuka. Oh, damn it. Take out my flashlight. Oh, I'm not using my phone. I guess K Kishinuma had my phone then. Huh. There we go. Now I'm going to be chased by like a bunch of axe dudes. Is there anything downstairs over here? The hell is this? There's something on the floor. Talisman, baby! Can I use that against the axe guys? Because they don't seem like real people. check upstairs because if I'm in the second building then there might not be anything up here yeah okay so there's nothing up there that's probably that's probably the center of it all because that's a big ass flesh wall all right what's happening over here keep an eye out for those trip wires like this one right here Snap that shit. Alright. Nothing in here, it seems. I don't think there's anything in the... I should check them, right? Just to be sure. I should check them. Yeah. Stall's not working. Stall's not working. All right, good. Good. All right. Huh. So I'm gonna have to go the way where the axe guy was. That's great. I'm trying to think, do, did I ever... Where the fuck was that room with the giant... St oh, wait, no, I remember now. There's a room with the giant spiral staircase, and we didn't go up there because Ayumi said she felt a bad feeling. Oh, let me head in here. I might find something in here. Something useful. And a giant-ass tripwire. Something on the floor. Bandage. I will take that, thank you very much. Now I know I'm gonna get chased by this fucking axe wielder. So I'm gonna save my game so I don't have to go grabbing all those items again. This dude scared the shit out of me, no lie. Take it slow. Did I loop him? Oh! Thought I looped him. Come on. Good thing he's really slow. Good thing he's a really slow guy. He's not like the other... the other ghost and shit. Oh, never mind! Just ran directly into that. Begins reacting. Does this mean there's a pillar over there? Oh, fuck. Tripwire, tripwire, tripwire. You can't hit me while I'm doing this. Oh, you don't... Okay. You don't work like the ghost. You don't come through, but do you save your locations? No, you don't. Okay. Nice to know. This room is the music room. Is there anything in the music room I can use? Ooh, look at that over there. Something on the floor. Batteries, baby. Anything up here in the corner? Nope. I sees nothing. Nothing with my eyes. 
Anything over here in this corner? Nope. We're good. It's all good. So I'm gonna have to run up there. Hmm. Come on, bootleg pyramid head. We can do this. I just gotta circle you. Oh shit! <laughs> Oops. That was a big that was a big mistake on my part. Come on. What the fuck was that? What was that spirit attack he just used? Or was that my talisman? Did I affect him with my talisman? Oh no, he just stopped. Oh shit. Let's, uh, patch this right up. It's okay, it's gonna be alright. It's fine. Do I still- Did that use my talisman? That totally did use my talisman! Son of a bitch! There's a mirror here. Let's not look at it. Oh, I can't interact with that? Okay. Not looking at that mirror. I feel like that is a death trap. But at the same time, I do have the glowy glows going on. Hmm. And I gotta get to the other door. I think I gotta get to the other door at least. I'm gonna try running past them. Okay. There's a burned rat inside the heater. Seems to be something inside the cabinet, but the door is sealed shut. Attempts to open it suggests that it might not even be a real door. Some loose candies are scattered around inside the cabinet. They seem to have been there for a long time as they look and smell oddly moist. Ugh. And are surrounded by various bugs. Deactivate that. Hmm. Might need this to... I don't know. To run someplace or something? I'm not sure. Alright. Guess it's time to seal my fate, baby. Here it goes. You shouldn't move it. You shouldn't look. That girl's going to die. Oh, shit. No. No, we're good. We're good. No, we're not good. We have to. I'm Ayumi, right? I do stupid things. I slowly remove the cloth covering the object. What I found beneath it was by all appearances just an ordinary mirror. Nothing but my own reflection stared back at me. You. Huh? Come with me. What? I didn't even move. Oh, hey, hey there. I stared into the glass, dumbfounded, as a shadowy figure, figure in black dress appeared right behind me, shrouded in eerie mist. Sachi? Why don't you move? The figure held the hatchet in her right hand and was raising it into the air to strike. Try to use an item. Batteries. Nothing. Ugh. Yep, my neck split open from the phantom impact and blood sported out, sported, spurted out. From the corner of my eyes, I could see Sachi in the mirror, swinging her hatchet down on me again. And despite my best efforts, I couldn't move a muscle to dodge. She continued, the, she continued to hack at me again and again. Ugh. Whenever the hatchet struck me in the mirror, my wounds grew bigger in reality. Yikes. Yep. 
So this is a death trap type of thing. I get it. In the next instant, my vision spun three, 360 degrees. My head corkscrewed closer and closer to the floor. I heard and felt a loud thud, followed by a painful roll until I finally came to rest. I now had a perfect view of the ceiling. From behind me, I could hear the sound of blood gushing into the air from the gaping hole above my neck. I only had a few seconds of sight left before my consciousness would fade completely, and in those seconds, my sight was already beginning to blur. But just as the darkness was beginning to set in, someone approached my head, crouched down beside it, and started stared directly into my failing, my failing, yeah, failing eyes. It was Nakashima, drenched in blood, with a satisfied look on her face. Whoa, Naomi? Why? I tried with every ounce of will left in my body to give even just the single word out. But there would never be any movement or sound from any part of me ever again. And what was to be my very last moment of life, Nakashima's face removed itself from my line of vision, and then... Briefly, I saw her shoes coming towards me. There was a spinning sensation for a split second, and then finally, unceremoniously, I was gone. She kicked my head? <laughs> what? She said, bitch down, me up. Ha. Just, just fucking reeled it back, huh? Okay, cool. I don't know why I didn't save that. I probably should have. Continue. This one. Do I still have the talisman on this one? I do. I think that's what I need. I have to get there and not touch the boogeymans. As long as I don't touch the boogeymans, I should be good, right? Make sure I stare clear of you guys. Okay. Come on, swing your axe. Come on. Alright, good. Okay. Here's the plan. Bob and weave. <laughs> Bob and Weave, try to get there with the talisman, because I feel like that's what I need. I feel like I need the talisman. But the problem is that these two guys are way too fucking close. Especially him, he's too close to that door. Will this grab me? No? Okay. Maybe I can sneak past that guy and get his attention? Yep. Alright, come on. Come on now. I need you this way. Alright, good. Now that you're doing that, we're gonna waltz on over here. Let's try that again with the talisman. Remove that bad boy. Okay. There's Sachi. She looks like a fucking gremlin. Try using an item. Talisman, baby! What? Nothing happened! No! <laughs> Alright, cool. That's fine. Alright, well... That... Well, that happened. Guess I actually do gotta find an item. I mean, why would, why else would they get me the option, right? <laughs> why else would they get me the option? All right, cool. So now that I know the talisman's not gonna work. Oh come on! Did he really? Did I really touch him? Did I really? Come on! What the fuck, man? I'm sorry. Uh-uh. I'm not accepting that. I barely touched that guy. 
I barely touched that dude. Now get over here. Get over here, you fucking psychopath. Yes, I know, I know, I know. It's reacting. Let's go look for items. Let's go do that. That seems fun. I know the music room has a battery in there. What is up here? Hmm. There are sounds of angry spirits emanating from within the room. We shall not go in. This is the same room, so I'm not going to do that. Oh. I should be able to fit through here. Emily Hills Elementary Class Journals line the shelf. Opening one, it seems that every page has been completely overwritten with heart hurtful comments about the students and teachers whose name appear therein. That's bad. That's bad people doing bad things. I see you, Tripwire. My mortal enemy. That body looks like it got fucked up. Oh, there's a ghost there too! Okay, let's not go over there. There's nothing up here. Okay. Cool. So nothing of value in there besides the, uh, the corpse and the statue. Still haven't found Ico. Still have not found Ico. There's a locker here. Oh. So we can use that as a normal locker now. Okay. Nice to know. So nothing seems to be up here. I guess I would have to head over to the first school building if I can. Maybe meet up with Satoshi and the gang. Tell them, hey man, we're looking for secrets. And this leads to the spiral staircase? Ah, we can finally go here. I wonder where this is. To your death. Hmm. The bell is too loud to bear. You cannot proceed any further. Not until you get your, your crew with you. Get your posse, roll up in there. Hmm. So, yeah, I guess I just gotta meet up with Satoshi and, and team. Because I don't think there's anything I can do with that mirror. Not right now, anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run past these guys again. Well, since I'm here, might as well grab the batteries. Door seems stuck and won't open. All right. Interesting. I'm just gonna run on past you guys. See you later, losers. I should investigate the second wing a little bit more first. Oh, what the fuck? Are you serious? What's to investigate? All right, well, if we're gonna do that, I pretty much, I pretty much went almost everywhere. So I don't think I need the flashlight anymore to look for trip wires.
checked in here, checked upstairs, went downstairs, well, closest to downstairs as I could go. I guess, I guess the only thing I can really do is just, I guess I can just try simply dodging out the way. I don't think that would work, but it might. Excuse me. Gotta get past you, sir. <laughs> Made you my bitch. Alright. Guess I'll just simply dodge out the way, see what happens. Just gonna die. Remove it. Slowly removed it. We're gonna try dodging out the way. I don't know what else we can do. What's What was the other option? Just stand there? Let it happen? Step away from the mirror. Try to shake off Sachi. Fuck you. Smack that bitch. Ah! Uh -uh. <laughs> no! Hey, I had to- I had to try. <laughs> I had to try. Wouldn't you? Alright. Well, guess I just, guess the simple answer is just back away from the mirror. If it's not that, then it's use an item, but what fucking item would you use? You can't use the talisman. I'll save it. Why not? System data. I mean, what other items do I have, right? Batteries, bandage, talisman, Argus cube. They're like human remains. Most of the legs are unfortunately shoved inside one of the shoe cubbies. Oh god. I don't have like a match or anything. Let's just try it. Let's just try sidestepping. Maybe that would work. Remove the cloth. Simply just step to the side. Step away from the mirror. Uh huh. Okay, so you didn't even move. So there is an item I have to use. Oh god. Alright, well, damn. Time to start checking everything with everything. The one thing I wanted to avoid so desperately. Hmm. Alright, well. We checked the cubbies, right? Time to start looking fucking everywhere. Nothing there. Maybe something in the piano. Uh, that would be over there, right? Yeah, so let's just... Let's just head this way. Maybe the bodies have something. Name tag. Committed suicide to escape Red Helm. Which I guess is the axe-wielding guys. Hmm. There was nothing down here for us. There's relatively no danger around here either, besides like the one ghost in that room. This is the bathroom, right? 
Yep, I checked every stall in the bathroom. Turning the handle causes something to come out of the faucet, but it's unclear exactly what it is. The only certainty is that most of it is definitely not water. This one appears to have vomited in the sink. The broken faucet has dried up blood over it. Okay, that's, that's wonderful. That's very wonderful, very helpful, very useful. Thank you. Also, got to keep an eye on my darkening. There is nothing up here. Hmm. So pretty much nothing on this side at all. Let me see. Maybe I can read this. Nope. I'll check the I'll check the bathroom real quick. The drain is clogged with excessive amount of wet hair. The gouged out eyeball is rolling around the sink. Oh, that's fucked up. The urinal drain is clogged with human hair and there are swarms of dead bugs caught in it. Somebody did not did not use safe sex. Yep, use safe sex. Use safe sex. That's what you say. That's the term. That's how you phrase it. How's my darkening? Still pretty good. Fuck off. Hmm. Piano? You got anything on you? So the piano is encrusted with copious amounts of human blood and flesh. It must have struck someone with amazing force and speed. Can't check the desk out or anything. Portrait above blackboard, all have creepy glowing eyes. Very creepy. Very glowy. Be mindful of the of the glass on the ground. There's an assorted human organ stuffed inside the cabinet. Well that's that's lovely. Very lovely indeed, thank you. I love what you've done with the place. Human tag rests besides corpse. Girls high. Pushed from great height by friend who succumbed to the darkening. Ooh. So she fell and broke her neck. Not good, not good, not good. Let's see. You can run, but you can't hide. I will chase you till you've died. There are sounds coming from there. Doors fixed to the wall like a model. Nowhere is safe. Darkening, how you doing? Darkening, doing fine. Ayumi, you relatively kept your sanity for a pretty good while. Is this a stick? Can I use this? As a weapon? There's a locker. I would like to enter it, please. There's blood inside. Okay. Maybe the I was thinking maybe there'd be something in the locker. Oh, did I, I did not check this out. The name tag rests besides the corpse. Head split open by axe or axe-like impalement. That's very... Basically you're saying crack that shit open like a watermelon. Up here's where we saw the ghost, but since we have... Did I use the talisman? Nope, we still have talisman. Slap it on that motherfucker's forehead. Uh, okay, paging through a student's roster at random is clear something's not quite right, as the majority of names written in are crossed out with red pen. Come here, buddy. Cool. The shell seems to have devoted the uh, seems to be devoted to graduation speeches from each year of Heavenly Host. 
paging through some of them. Okay, yep. So, uh, each speech is from someone who transfers Heavenly Host and talks about what he or she wants to do before dying. Oh, God. Name tag, rest beside his corpse. Decapitated with a sharp blade. Ew. Nothing, huh? Nothing. No items. There's what in doll here seems completely suffused. With holy power. Leave it be. I think my darkening is still fine. Ooh. I'm starting to get a little... I'm starting to get a little crazy. I'm starting to get a little nuts. List of current teachers. Many of the names are blacked out, and some of them seem to have actually been slashed numerous times with a knife or box cutter. Hmm. Emily Host, Class Journals. We checked this already. I know that. I mean... What the fuck else can I check out, right? Hmm. How we doing, Darkening? Ah, you're fine. You're fine. There's not really much to check out anyways. We went up there. We checked around over there. We, uh... The only thing left to do is... A, it, ow, fuck. Why'd I step on that? Why'd I do that? Only thing left to do is like to either check that room over there. Might as well save this. Makes no difference, but might as well save it. Couldn't really do nothing over here. Maybe we just needed to come up to the third floor and then head towards the other school building. Since there's nothing I can do. There's a thing there. Uh, let's see. Should investigate the second wing a bit more. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Smart idea. Smart girl. Smart girl, really. A woman after my own heart. Excuse me, sir. How the fuck did that hit me? Hmm. Couldn't really use the heaters or anything. Burned rat inside the heater. There was nothing up there besides like a trip wire. Oh, is there a body up there? Let me check that out. Excuse me, sir. Dead rat inside there. Tripwire over here. Snap that. Really nothing to deal with over here. Thought you can check the desk out or something. Windows. Darkening. You're getting there a bit. Name tag. Suffered a heart attack. It's not a laughing matter. But to be fair, you died. You died in a stupid way compared to everyone else's. Jesus. Hmm. I mean. Let me through. I'm going to walk over here. See what I can find. Nothing. Go over here. You shouldn't move. You shouldn't look. Shouldn't move, shouldn't look. The girl's going to die. Alright. Don't remove the claw. Hmm.
Are you gonna let me leave now, Ayumi? You checked everything you could. We examined everything we could. My bad. The only thing we didn't examine is this. The world's about to end. Hmm. Shouldn't move, but you shouldn't move, you shouldn't look. You're going to die. And the only option I have is to use an item. And I tried using the talisman before. Right? You can't use the cube. I don't think you can use the cube. Huh. You shouldn't move. You shouldn't look. The girl's going to die. Remove the cloth. Fuck it, let's remove the cloth. Maybe it's just a... Maybe it's just a trick. Shouldn't move, you shouldn't look. There should be a close your eyes button. That's the only thing I can think of. Held the hashage. Try using the item, shake her off. I tried using item, but I'm just gonna... I'm just not gonna do anything. Oh! No blood this time? Nope, blood. Alright, cool. Yep, blood. Hmm. Is there not, like... Huh. Which one's my save file that I want to load up? This one? Is this the one with the, uh... Do I have the talisman on me? I do. Shouldn't move, shouldn't look. I have an idea. That might work. That might, depending on... Depending on the logic that this game would give you. Right? So let's just... Hear me out. Let's just try it out. Let's just try it out. This is the only thing I can think of right now. I'm gonna remove the cloth. Right? All right, try using an item. Bandage, nothing happened. Hmm. Can I use the cube? Was the cube an option? <laughs> I'm getting stuck on the fact that she said you shouldn't move and you shouldn't look, and I'm thinking like, you might be able to just shield your eyes and nothing will happen, right? I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna double check the items I can use. Because there's no other items that I was able to find. And I might just be able to use the cube. I don't know what the fuck the cube would do, but eh. Talisman didn't work last time I used it. Try using an item. Oh! 
I guess it is the cube. My reflection, moving independently, held her hand towards the mirror as if to say, give it to her. Half of, uh, half of instinct and half of pure suspicion. Suspicion? Yeah. I motioned like I was handing the Argus cube to the other me. Hmm. Suddenly, something fell out of my hand and onto the floor with a substantial clang. I bent down to look a little more closely at it and found it to be a crystal glimmering with purple light. And as with the other pillar crystals, this light was emanating from within the stone itself. There was no mistaking it. Base. You calling me base? Bitch. The fifth pillar is base. It's the mirror pillar, which sees through everything. I glanced back up at the mirror and again, as anticipated, Sachi was no longer visible. Only I was reflected. Thank God. Only one more to go. But just then... Hmm. The nearby window began to rattle and groan. Oh, is that the big monster? From the corner of my eyes, I saw several black crows flying past it outside. When I turned to look, I found the number to be... I found a number to be more than expect... Wait, what? I found the number to be well more than expected. It was nothing but crows, as far as the eye could see. That means Sephiroth is here. Oh, look at this motherfucker. In the very center of the dark, mostly empty room, a patient... Uh, I patient... I uh, thought... I patiently sat on a sofa with my legs crossed. I must have looked like the king of darkness. Oh, darkness. I'm gonna... Ooh, let's shop at Hot Topic together later. With a smug grin on my face and glass of fine red wine, even though I'm underaged as hell, in my hand, my goblet, if you will. It won't be long now before Ayumi completes the hexagram. I pulled a stone from my pocket. It was the same design as the Argus Cube I gave to Ayumi, though it had a different glow to it. This is no charm, girl. The Argus with this, uh, with his, wait, what? Like Argus with his 100 eyes. I've got you firmly in my sights. <laughs> hey, David. How's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. It's a wonder you weren't caught on. It's a wonder you haven't caught on yet. You didn't know you had a sub. <laughs> yeah, a while back. A while back during September, I just threw out some gift subs. Because fuck it, you know? Now then, I should start making preparations. My Book of Shadows must have a proper receptacle after all. And now fucking Yuka's here with her new friend. Hmm. Yo, Yukes, where the hell are we? You're in hell. That's where you are. Satsuki, delete my sight, okay? If you do, we might never be able to see each other again. What? That would blow. Yukes, we're supposed to be best buds forever, right? Yeah. Never played Chorus Party, is it scary? Hmm. Depends on what you mean by scary. <laughs> the first game was an RPG Maker game, right? And it has pretty good writing, that's for one. Sometimes jump scares here and there, which are nothing more than like, you know, uh, like a like a picture they'll throw up here and there. But for for most part it's like it's horror themed, I guess, but for the most part it's just like eh, you'll see people die here and there. The scares aren't really there that much and just a bunch of anime bullshit really. Sorry to keep you waiting, Yuke. That was long ass pee break. What the hell were you doing over there anyways? Um, where's my big brother? Basically, basically just think about it as like, think about it as like the anime Scooby-Doo game minus the dog and more chance of people getting split in half. And other than that, just people making dumb, stupid fucking decisions. <laughs> Seems to have lost track of him somewhere. Come on, Yuka, let's go find him together. Okay. Yuka here is a nine-year-old, I think, and she's been through some shit <laughs> in the first two games. This guy's totally up to something, Yukes. Don't let your guard down. I won't. 
Nice anime BS type of game. <laughs> Big Brother, where are you? There's no response to her call. Yukes, mm. he'll be okay. We'll find him. Honestly, Yuka's like the bravest out of all the fucking characters. Actually, that's a lie. Kishinuma is probably the bravest, because he actually fucking get shit done for the most part. Right? But Yuka's been through a lot of shit, and she was able to keep it together for a good while. So what is this place anyways? What kind of crazy trick did you use to get us here? I think we're both out of... I think we were both out cold for a sec back there. Something just saying right about the whole situation. And I'm getting some serious guilty vibes from you. Sasuke's tone was harsh, though it felt forced enough that I could tell there was some, some, uh, might have, oh god, I've never seen that word today before in my life. Might have come? Hmm. I'm anxiety behind it. I don't know. Anime is crazy. Like, for example, earlier, uh, earlier in, like, one of the other streams that I did of this, fucking, we were running around, getting chased, getting killed, you know? But in this haunted ass school, and then they just hard cut to, okay, what are the other guys doing in the fucking, you know, when they're not in the school, the guys who are in the real world, and it's like, oh, we're at the fucking hot springs, and everyone's just getting naked, and everyone's just okay with it besides the main character, because he's just like, what the fuck is going on? You better not have lured us to this abandoned schoolhouse so you could try anything funny. I got my eyes on you. I just kept my mouth shut. There's no point in saying anything. This person wasn't worth the effort. It behooved me just to keep walking and hope she shut up. Oh, so now we're playing as all three. Cool. You brought some snackies? Satsuki. What an asshole. Imagine being in a fucking haunted house. Like a haunted abandoned place with like your friends or some shit. And then one of them just pulls a fucking potato chip bag out of nowhere. Start making a bunch of fucking noise. This? Sorry. Just felt like my energy's running low. You want some mukes? No, I'm okay. Though I've always wondered. Where do you keep all those potato chips? I got a bunch of different varieties tucked away under my skirt. My personal recommendation is the Happy Butter flavor. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> In the first game, there was a moment where two girls were like, Oh no. One of the girls was like, Oh no. My ass is getting dry. Hey, do you have some of that ass cream with you? I have to butter up my pooper real good. That's a legit thing that they actually said in the first game. And now this is just a callback to it. And I don't like it. Best decision, potato chips. <laughs> Yuka seemed to be scared out of, out of her gourd when we arrived. But if nothing else, this Satsuki girl, wild behavior, seemed to have broken her out of her shell a little. I think it's this way. Oh shit! That's loud. From somewhere in the distance, we can hear an upbeat, almost carnival-esque tune playing very loudly. The sound of which was accompanied by the church of Sasuke's potato chip. The church? The crunch of Sasuke's potato chips. Which she was still busily chomping away out. It's very loud. This sure is something else, Yukes. How'd you find this place anyways? I've actually been here once before, but something's different now. Oh yeah, Yukes, you want some? Thanks, Satsuki, but I'm good for now. Jesus fuck, shut up. Oh my god. Where's the noise coming from? Stop it! I don't like it! Sadly unmistaking... Unmistake- what? The sadly unmistakable and all too good familiar sound of flesh has been cr Oh god. There's a ghost over there too!
Ah, fuck, I stepped on glass. Am I still being chased by the ghost? Nope. Where the hell do I go? Anything in here? Nope. Think I gotta head to the gym, maybe. Oh, tripwire. Almost killed myself. Some glass over there. There was nothing but a gaping hole in the middle of the gym. I'm about to mute this fucking audio. So, Satoshi's not here. Are you sure he's anywhere? Where exactly are we? This little... little ass munch is really starting to piss me off. I made sure it didn't show my face, but I was not happy with the twerp one bit. Satsuki, this is a place that's haunted by a lot of really scary ghosts. Me and my brother and all his friends are trapped here before. We play this game and the music just started like this. It's just Alt F4, yeah. I'm about to mute it too. Fucking hell. Alright, there we go. You're you're done. You're over with. <laughs> you're done. We're not dealing with that. Not right now. I'm also gonna have to mute it for myself too. <laughs> until it until it's over. All right. Just don't leave my side, Sasuke. It's dangerous. Okay. I needed, I needed to stop. It reminds you of Danganronpa V3, the first murder. Yeah. If you are, if you are curious, right now on my YouTube channel, which is right there on the screen, I'm uploading the uh, streams I did for Danganronpa V3, my first playthrough of it. So. There's that. If you want to check that out. Fucking. I hate that song so much. Alright. Can I go in these rooms? Door is affixed to the wall like a model. It shows no indentation. Okay. Can I check the hole? I can check the hole. Hmm. I already finished it. Oh yeah, I finished it like uh I finished it like last month towards the towards the yeah, no, towards the end of last month I I finished Dangarampa V3. I'm just uploading the playthrough right now. There's still a couple of parts left I need to get uploaded to YouTube. Big brother. Lost track of everything. Oh, it's okay. For those joining the stream, the audio is muted because there is very loud music playing in the game right now, and I'd rather not kill your eardrums. <laughs> Damn, this hole goes down pretty deep. Isn't this run-down old shit shack like a super dangerous place to be? He's gonna kick her down there, isn't he? I bet even a gentle breeze would knock this place to the ground. It's pretty much total. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> what are you doing? She was really trying my patience. I began positioning myself behind her very slowly. <laughs> you will describe about now. Well, thank you. Big Brother really doesn't seem to be here, Misato. I can see that. Let's head somewhere else. Preferably somewhere where I can unmute the audio. <laughs> You seem a little tired. Are you okay, Yuka? Do you want to drink a water? I'm not taking anything from you. I'm fine. Good girl. I'll take some. Don't you dare. He probably drugged the shit out of that. And just like that, Bill Cosby has struck him again. Thirsty much? And he finally addresses me. My mom just always tell, tell me to drink a lot of water since there's so much salt in potato chips. Or you can just stop eating potato chips and get baked ones instead. 
Your mom, huh? Do you have good parents? I don't know. Depends on if you think handoff parenting is progressive or lazy. I say they're pretty good, though. I see. Let me see, is the music still playing? Let me check on my end. Because <laughs> if it is... Where's my mouse? Oh, no, we're back to normal. All right, cool. We're back to normal. <laughs> music stopped. Good. You want me to throw it away now? You're a dude. You handed it to me. You should be the one to dispose of it when I'm done. That's the mark of a true gentleman. Back me up here, Ukes. Huh? Oh, yeah. You weren't even listening, were you? Of course not. Now let me go find a save point, so that I don't fucking, I don't get killed and have to do all that shit all over again. I'm gonna take out the flashlight. Be careful where you run now. Don't want to step on glass and start bleeding all over the fucking place. Some glass over there. Oh, what's wrong, Satsuki? I drank way too much water. My bladder is ma at max right now. It's fit to burn. Another thing this game series really likes is just having people piss themselves. This game just really loves talking about people who just have to use the bathroom and just peeing all over themselves. She basically just pulled the fucking, uh, pulled the king of the hill right there. Hank. Like, you okay? What's happening? She's like, oh, I'm about to bust. Thank God I use the bathroom. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay. You were right with the anime bullshit? Of course I was right with the anime bullshit. Trust me, I've seen a lot of anime bullshit. There was, a, there was a playthrough I was doing, which I haven't finished yet, called Conception. I can't go through there. Okay, cool. Called Conception, which is just nothing but pure anime bullshit. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna start streaming that series again, and then when we're all done, upload it. You know. Right now, I just need to find me a save point. Good old piss bucket. I love you. But this time, it's only vomit in here. There's no- oh my god. Where the fuck is the candle? Doors affixated to the wall. There's supposed to be a candle there, which is a save point, and there's not. Which makes it really bad if I fucking- if I- OW! What the fuck?! Was there a tripwire there? Because I did not see a tripwire. You know what? I'm not gonna heal you, Yuka. Sorry. We're just gonna switch the characters. Oh. Okay. The, the effect is still gonna- Alright, the effect is still gonna be there. Never mind. Get your fucking hands dirty, Misato. Do something. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep an eye out for these tripwires. There's just a fucking human skull just right there. Just right there. Just looking for a friend. Oh, here's a tripwire. Get rid of that while we can. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for the sub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. No problems, man. Uh, where does this go? This is the science lab. Oh, fuck, the... Damn it! Oh, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I just need to find me a save point. That's what I need to do. So I don't kill myself later. Let's see. Ah! Fucking... Son of a bitch. Guess I'm going this way. There's a skeleton there. That's cool. Hmm. Let me check the, uh... Check the cabinets over there. Oh, glass. Almost stepped on it. Also look down here, see if there's any items laying about. There's centipedes and moths, 
numerous pagan patterns. All right. So nothing of note in the science lab. Nothing we can use anyways. It's gonna run over here. Wait, what? Hear the sounds of a ghost coming after me. This leads upstairs. Please tell me there's a save point up here. Yes! Beautiful. Now I feel safe. Oh, I ran out of battery in my flashlight. Here we go. It's the girl's bathroom over there. Wait up for me a sec. I gotta pee. Okay. Oh, can't hold it. Pee, pee, pee. The hell are you doing, Misato? How do you know about this place, Misato? You really want to know? I'm the bearer of a new of the new book of shadows, the container for this Nirvana and its core. Or I will be, anyways. Yoshiki, big brother. That was your brother's voice. You should hurry up and catch up with them. Oh, he's so gonna fucking kill her. <laughs> Oh, you left Satsuki by herself. Oh, you moron. Phew. I thought those float gate those floodgates would never close. Good thing I had some tissues with me. Hey, this isn't funny. Where are you, Yukes? Big brother. Wait, did she go downstairs? Yukes, hold up. Ah, son of a bitch. <gasps> oh no! She's bleeding. Oh. Scott, uh, Satsuki's throat began convulsing. She was no longer able to form words. She could only moan. Blood began flowing up through her esophagus and dripping down her chin. Oh, you bastard. Gently now. Scumbag. Oh my, it seems your jaw's broken. Aww. And your neck's not looking very straight either. Such a pitiful thing to happen to someone who's only in middle school. Let's hide that face of yours, shall we? I can't even bear to look at you right now. You're so sickening. A repulsive sight indeed. I took the pocket tissue from Sasuke's hand and placed the sheet over her face. They soaked through with blood almost immediately, turning practically invisible in the process. Already asleep? No matter how annoying or resistant they were, they're always so quiet and cute when life leaves their bodies and turns them into mere things. Even a pissant like you will be cute enough now. <laughs> will be cute soon enough. Okay, you fucking... Uh, I don't like you. <laughs> Defeated by a water bottle. Went out the way of Justin Bieber. Her breathing became more and more erratic as her body rocked with convulsions. The last thing she heard before departing this mur mor oh God. mortal coil, I couldn't fucking pronounce it, would likely be my, foot my footfalls as I walked down the stairs away from her. Footfalls. Big brother, where are you? Oh, the cabinet isn't there again. Or am I, or am I on the other side? Might be on the other side. I can't run anymore. Yuka? Big brother? It's never that simple, is it? Misato. 
Your brother's dead. What? Sadly, he didn't stand a chance against Sanji's curse. See? Take a look over there. On the floor there on the floor where I was pointing. Excuse me. There was a mass of organic matter. Yuka, don't get fooled by this. We've walked past this a million times by now. The only identifiable identif uh, the only identifiable elements remaining of this clump of meat were a tuft of black hair and the tattered, bloody remains of what used to be a white shirt. That's your brother. No, it can't be. I'm sorry, I couldn't save him. He was calling your name until the bitter end, too. That's not true. Big Brother's fine. He told me last night. Big Brother? Can't be true. But it is. And on top of that, Satsuki's dead, too. That one's not a lie. What? I kicked her down the stairs myself. Wanna say? You know, after the shit that she went through in the first game, you would expect Yuka would be a little bit more, a little bit more suspect when it comes to following strangers, <laughs> you know? Especially when they say, I'm going to help you find your brother. I kicked her, and when she hit bottom, her jaw split open. Fucking middle school dits was all wheezing and sputtering. <laughs> Aww. Oh, she has holy powers. Or she's given into the darkening. I don't know. Yep, this is it. This is what I've been seeking. This is what I expect from a heavenly host survivor. Your spirit aura is off the charts. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? The reason I brought you here is because I can use you. Huh? Satoshi Mochita, your little sister. is mine. Damn it, Yuka. Now all that remains is... our little brute project, Ayumi. We need a sacrifice. I wonder where the last pillar is. Is that a bell? There was no bells at Heavenly Host before. Could it have something to do with the final pillar? Well, guess we're heading to the clock tower, maybe. Are these guys still out here? Am I still gonna get chased? Of course I am! Ah, son of a bitch! The bell sure sounds a lot closer now. It's above me. Do I have a band-aid? Nope, of course I don't. Fuck. Let me at least find a save point. I think there's one over here, right? Good. Let's see. Save over the top one. Oh, did that fool me up? Hey, I'm fully healed. Nice. Hmm. Now, can I either go downstairs or upstairs? Let's check the downstairs first. Might be able to do something over there. There's a tremendous, there's a tremendous spiritual presence at the bottom of these staircases. Countless lost souls are silently screaming in agony and despair. It would be best not to go that way right now. Oh, look at Ayumi being the cautious one for once. She's like, maybe I won't do the stupid thing. <laughs> All right. Let's get up these steps. This place didn't exist in the last Heavenly Host. Mm -mm. Thanks for the astute observation. It's not like you said it earlier. I climbed the long winding staircase that snaked its way up uh, the walls of the tower. And I hugged those walls the whole time. 
the entire the entire central area was wide open, with nothing but a rickety old guardrail between me and the very, very long fall. As I climbed higher and higher, the Argus Cube light began to blink more and more intently. It has to be here. Sure is high up, though. Suddenly, the bell toll rang out louder and clearer than before. With such intense, unavoidable force that I was completely frozen in my tracks and instantly in pain. The same sound had been heard multiple times since arriving in Nirvana, but this was the first time it had been so overbearing. Even with fingers in my ears, my ears continued to pulsate, resonating with the incredible noise. The sound was just too all-encompassing to block out. Present even... What? Present even when absent. Okay, cool. It hurts. My eardrums, they're gonna burst. I braced myself for the next toll, expecting it to be the end, but it didn't come. And though the ring never quite left my ears, it did slowly begin to abate. Abate? Yep, abate. Abate, if only slightly. That was really scary. I hope there aren't any more loud sounds. Any more loud noises. I don't like them. Nice to know that this dead guy is still impaled on here. With that hammer, that will most assuredly get me killed. Yoshi... what? Sachiko? Yoshikazu? Hmm. Did I just hear a voice? Or is that still the ringing? I could have sworn there was this unmistakable voice of Sachiko Shinazaki. now. Alright, here's what's gonna happen right now. I have to use the bathroom, so I will be right back in like two to three minutes. So, see you guys then.
All right, and we're back. Now that I've went and used the bathroom, time to move on with more course party. Let me just move my mouse out the way. All right. Wonder what the fuck's gonna be up here for me. Oh, what's going on with you? I had no idea stairs could be this tiring. Well, guess what? Stairs fucking suck. I'm keeping an eye on that on that dead guy down there. I don't think he's dead. The gateway to the roof is locked. There's something written on it, but it's borderline illegible due to terrible handwriting and very poor spelling. The best you can make out is... Key is hide. Make them... Protect it? Hmm. Key is... Wait, key is what now? Key is hidden. Alright. Make them protect it. It's probably that guy right there. He probably has the key. Probably gotta, like, put my hands on his insides or something. I don't know. I'm telling you, just grab the sledgehammer for protection. How's my darkening going? We're good. It's a body of Yoshizu... Uh, Yoshizu... Oh, God. Yoshikazu... Uh, in addition to being crucified, he also had a stake driven through the back of his head. Yoshizaku, what have they done to you? Is that, um... I'm trying to remember, is that... Is that Sachiko's father? Is he the father, or is he, uh... Who the fuck is Yoshizaku? I don't remember. Okay, well... Stay dead. <laughs> Stay dead. Don't you come this way. I don't need you getting up and being alive. I got enough problems as is. You stay over there and you just hang out, you know? Look at the scenery. Take in the sights. Enjoy the ringing of the bell. Can I go downstairs now? Nope, I can't. Alright. Um, hmm. Alright, well, let's think about this. Make them protect it. Now, where the fuck would this key be? There's sounds of angry spirits emanating from within. I would hope that the key would be in here, right? Nope. Alright. Key is hidden. Make them protect it. I have the cube. I have the base. Crystal, which is called base. Can I check under the stairs? Probably not. And I can't go downstairs either. So. Huh. I would imagine that... Make them protect it. I'm a little bit afraid to, like, run out of this area. Because I'm. it might just be a huge waste of time. But at the same time, that might be what I have to do. Huh. Do you really not have anything on you? Over here? Why would he be here? Hmm. hmm. Probably fucking up my darkening levels. Let me just check that door one more time. I 
All right, keys hidden, make them protected. It's not like an anagram or anything, right? Nothing, not like a code I have to decipher. I think it's just written by kids. Hmm. All right, well, I guess I gotta run around the school and look for a fucking key. It's the only choice I got, really. Could it possibly be? It seems like Ayumi would just refuse to fucking go to the first school building. Maybe... I don't think it would be in the music room, and we can't go in the room with all the angry spirits, and we can't go downstairs. Make them protect it. Who's them? Is it the Axe Boys? Gonna check over here to see if anything's changed. No. That ghost is there though. Because this is the this is the save uh that I didn't use the talisman on the ghost. Okay. Huh. Where the fuck? Make them protected. Ah shit. <laughs> Damn it! I don't know. I guess I can just try heading back to uh, the first school building, but I don't think that's going to happen. The bell tolls yet again. Stop running out of breath, Ayumi. Who is them? Could it be the music photos? Tell me where the key is. I try my best. I've learned nothing. Music room is pretty useless. Are the axe guys still here? Yes, they are. Uh huh. Still gotta investigate this area, huh? Okay, great. Nice to see you still make bad decisions. Who the hell is them? have like nothing down here can't do anything upstairs can't go to the first room first room my bad first building don't think there's anything in the bathroom There's nothing I can do up here. This has to be like a hidden doorway, right? Hmm. What the hell do I do? Is there any way I can, like, run around the axe guys and, like, stick my fingers in their pocket? I think I can do that. Hey, Axe Dude. Come over here. I need you over here. I want to test something out. 
Check your pocket. Check your pocket. Nope. All right, cool. Hmm. And they don't chase me beyond this room. Right? Nothing in the cabinet, right? All right, cool. Come here. Check your pocket. Nope. Hey, you. Follow me. Check your pocket. Nope. All right, cool. You got nothing for me. This is the only them I can think of, right? Make them protect it. You, trying to get your attention. Thank you. You're the third one. Can I get you to break open this door? Check your pocket. Nope, you have nothing for me. You're a failure. Back to being a normal mirror. Who the fuck has the key? Oh, there it is. Make them protect it. So it is the axe, guys, but... It's all the fuck the way up here. Okay, cool. Thank you, Axe Loser. Ah, shit. You saw nothing. You saw nothing, Axe guys. Just my sweet ass as I left you in the dust. Um, over here is the... Yeah, cool. I want to just save, make sure I got it. Overwrite that bad boy. Onward, to get myself killed. It's okay if you run out of stamina a little bit. Still wish I could run longer. God damn it. How you doing there, Shaki Kazu, or whatever the fuck your name is? Oh my god, catch your breath, girl. Jesus. Stumbling over your own two fucking left feet. Use the stairway key. Alright. You stay on that cross, you do not get up. You have no right to get up. Mm -mm. Oh. Who the fuck is that? Az uh, fucking Azusa. Or whatever the fuck. I still don't know who that is. That, that has to be from like the anime or some bullshit. Magari grabbed the now primal beast like Az Azusa. God, that's a name to say. I'm just going to keep saying Azuna. I feel like that's easier to say for me. By the hair and pinned her down. Hold still, you little bitch. Oh, God. How cute. She thinks she can overpower me. Even if I took her back to the real world, though, she, she'd never be appointed execute. Wait, what? She'd never be appointed executive officer now. All right. I had a moment there. I had a moment there. I couldn't read. You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? A tall shrine with a bell could be seen from the window. And from its peak, there were six columns of light stretching upward. Ayumi?
Did she really gather all of them? Is she out of her fucking mind? At long last, I reached the top, and there it was, the sixth pillar, in all of its horrifying glory. Dead children! <laughs> Jesus. It looked like some bizarre growth coming down from the roof, composed entirely of long dead corpses. Oh god, I don't like the fact that they're doing the fly sounds around my ear! I observed it in horror, mouth agape and flustering. Winged insects scape, scaped, scraped up against my ear canal. All the corpse necks had red, ceremonial-looking marks embezzled upon them. This sixth and final pillar was the crown. And what a sight it was. Hey guys, you want a party? I'm a party person. So, this is the last one. I closed my eyes and reached out to try touching the makings on one of the corpse's necks. The makings? The markings? My bad. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Don't agitate the pillars anymore. You already have. Jesus. You again? Look, just stay away from me. Stop! What are you doing? Oh! Are you fighting with an umbrella? Really? Oh, shit! As she screamed, Misato leapt, leapt in from out of nowhere and snatched the water pillar crystal. Mercy from Magari's chest before she had any idea what was happening. <laughs> Is that all you got, Magari? He still looked, looked on in sick pleasure, sticking his tongue out playfully, and Magari plummeted to his certain doom. Satisfied, he then turned his attention towards the final pillar, which had just finished unsealing. Oh, that's not fun. The light began to shine even brighter. I could only watch, stunned and squinting, as this new spectacle unflirt, unflirt, unflirt before me. What is this? There was a powerful blast of wind, and then the pillar crumbled. Unbeknownst to me, the other pillars had crumbled as well. The entire school rumbled and shook beneath our feet. Oh god! I'm scared! What's happening? Somebody help me! Suddenly the entire Nirvana went blanketed with impeding darkness. It's as if the whole place vanished, only to be replaced with an empty void. That doesn't look good. I can sense that I was crouched on the ground, clutching my forehead. I slowly raised my line of sight, the faintest hint of glow catching my attention. Above me, I can see the Aurora Borealis, this time of day entirely dedicated to your kitchen. <laughs> Above me, I can see the sky, though it was muted, distorted, and discolored, as if being, as if being filtered through a warped purple veil. It looked a bit like an Aurora Borealis. The sky is cracking, that does not look good. A few moments pass in relative silence, only for the stillness to be broken by the sound of echoing from the sky above. It was reminiscent of ice cracking on the surface of a lake. The scenery that lay before me was like something out of a dream. Even then, after everything I'd been through, I had a, I had a tough time believing it was real. What happened? Then there was another sound, directly in front of me. I best describe it as a mass of metal collapsing to the ground. I turned my head down slightly and saw what looked like a piece of limestone with an eerie white glow. This is... this was... I knew the crystallized power of the final pillar. It's the last crystal. Crown has been obtained. I picked it up, and almost immediately, Misato tossed the stone he'd taken from Magari over to me. Huh? Ayumi, 
Take out all the crystals you gather. And that's a fine greeting after all this time. Formalities are meaningless. Take out the crystals and put them together. Damn it. There is too much at stake for me to dwell on this. Begrudgingly, as instructed, I tuck the other crystals out from my pocket and fit them all together in a single object. I now have the Infinity Gauntlet, and with a snap of my fingers. <laughs> they snapped into place snugly, and with one final bright light, fused inseparably. The result was a more or less round crystal with a black sheen, reminiscent of... Hem hem hematite? I think that's how you pronounce that? This, I would learn, was called Kabbalah Dogra. Kabbalah Dogra. And it was now complete. I totally butchered that pronunciation. Wow. So with this, Sachi can be defeated. My friends can be resurrected. Nicely done. Misato flashed me a wry smile, but then... Yeah! <laughs> Raiko's alive! Ayumi... Huh? Aiko, I love you. Aiko, you're all right. Ayumi, listen. I need to apologize to you. Her clothes have been burned in several spots, the skin underneath now black with ash and red with blood. The nurse's office. Thank God. I wonder if there was anything I could use here to treat my burns. What Sachi burned... What Sachi burned me with was the spirit fire, so water's no good. Fortunately, spirit fires are susceptible to talismans, and I had plenty of those on me. That has to be what saved me. But my skin is pretty scorched. I need to dis disinfect it, at least. Disinfect? I leaned against the wall and smirked in spite of myself. Am I actually trying to survive here? I have no way home anymore, so what's the point in trying to live any longer than I have to? The Invincible Intelligent a the Invincible Intelligence Agent, huh? What a joke. I literally just walked right in here without a care in the world, and now look at me. Burnt to a crisp. <laughs> I let myself slide down the wall until I was sitting. Then I started then I started. Then I stared out the window, defeated and alone. Sis. What did I say to her when I left? See you in half a year? Now I don't even know when I'll see her again. No, that's not true. I won't ever see her again. I looked down at the floor and and bre uh, I looked down at the floor and breathed a deep sigh. My fate lies here in the school, huh? Alongside Naoha, Sayaka, and Haruyuki. There's just no fighting it. I brought this on myself. I stood up and placed my hand on the infirmary door. Though I'm going to continue fighting it anyways until my final breath. So I guess I'm trying to survive here, even if it's just for one moment longer. When I opened the door, what I saw chilled me to the core. What? This was not a school infirmary. This was the clinic from Yoshi's home. What's going on? This isn't heavily host. There was a person sitting- Person? Why say it like that? There was a person sitting at the desk. Her face was invisible from the back, but her identity seemed clear. There's no doubt about it. This was in document. This was in the document I gave to Magari Mizuki. It's the clinic from Yo from Yoshi Shinazaki's estate. So that must be Yoshi herself. The nurse was writing something, and presumably her journal. I was so focused on the task, and that that she seemed oblivious of everything around her. Wait, what? Oh. Let me reread that. The nurse was writing something, and presumably her journal, and was focused on the task that she remained oblivious to everything around her. Or at least, she seemed oblivious, and she did notice me. She didn't care. She just kept on writing. I was a fool. Right now, since Sachiko swallowed the Nirvana, things are peaceful, but who knows how long that will last. What's gonna happen if Sachiko's life ends? 
I've analyzed the anagrams and determined that all the spells written in this book have nothing more than theories. Not a one of them has ever been properly tested. There's no success rates. There's no data of any kind. So why was I naive enough to attempt something so foolish? I've devoted everything I have, my blood, my soul, to an end that was destined never to succeed in the first place. Destined never to succeed? I'm afraid so. You've been striving towards a hopeless ideal this whole time. And Yoshi Senozaki herself said all this? That can't be right. You told me I can bring them all back. If I can't, then... then what's the point of this? I began to shudder, and my voice was going hoarse. I had... had I made a mistake twice? Gone after a way to undo things, only to make them far, far worse? I could see how much this revelation was affecting me, and bit her lip. She seemed like she finally succumbed to her own conscience. It's the same for me, honestly. I was half in doubt the whole time. Or I guess it would be more accurate to say, I never actually believed you'd be able to do it. I'm sorry. I led you here to achieve my own goals. You? I just wanted to see my friends, who are gone. I wanted to hear their voices. Just one last time. This was like a new Ico. Bearing it all, as opposed to hindering her heart. Hindering. As opposed to hardening. Hearted. Uh, hardening. Heart. Hardening. Heartening her heart, like she always said. Like she always had. Like she always had. She wanted friends. And she finally made some. And all she wanted to do was cherish them. Tears streamed down her cheeks faster than she could react to them. She quickly gave up on wiping them away, electing instead to look down and hide her face in her hands. Aiko. He's so gonna kill her. <laughs> Bravo! Before I even realized it, Misato had snatched the Kabbalah Dogra from my hand and was calcul with calculated precision. What are you doing? <laughs> hmm, nice work. Bravo indeed. You. Humans can't be brought back to life. The very notion is absurd. If your pea brain really was so full of flowers and rainbows that you actually believe you could cheat death. Misido Commendation. Commendation? Yeah. Con uh, condim uh, God, I can't. Fuck. Fuck reading. <laughs> Mis uh, Misito's Condemnation and, con and Content. Oh, God. Contempt. Seemed to have an even greater effect on Aiko than me. Her face was racked with guilt and sadness. Huh? I was starting to share her expression. However, as this implications of his however, the implications of his actions began to dawn on me. I fell backwards into a sitting position on the ground. The book was always meant to be destroyed, not created. There's not a single page in it about there's not a single page in it about true revival. If the book acknowledges you, it grants you great power. That's it. And you? You lost it. You truly are a worthless bitch. However, even garbage like you isn't completely useless. You are crucial to my plan, and you should thank your lucky stars for that. This. This is the crystallization of the wisdom possessed by the witches. It's everything from inside the book you so carelessly lost. Everything. And with it. I can create a new book of shadows. Misito inserted the Nirvana crystal into the depression. Depression. Depression in his book. Really? That's how you use that word? <laughs> the skin is nothing more than a case. Using the manuscript left behind by my grandfather. 
A sharp tone rang out, and the entire area was quickly bathed in a constructory light. Black as night, yet bright as the noonday. Yes, at long last, the nirvana, it's spreading. What is that? Take a look. Isn't it spectacular? Ah, fuck. The sky had what looked like a giant gunshot in it, with spiderweb cracks projecting outward from it. And the gunshots were now growling, growling? Was now growing into a full-on gaping hole. And inside the hole, an up-down, upside-down view of the real world was clearly visible. It was nighttime, so everything was a little dark, but it was absolutely unidentifiably the world we knew. And in that world, small black grain-like objects began emanating from the floating orb, clustering like locusts and dancing across the sky. Miss Kuan, look! Throw the, fr throw the fridge in the sky, would see, uh, we could, uh, God, damn it, I can't speak. Through the freezer in the sky, we could see nighttime scenery from the real world. What is that? Don't tell me where. This is a surprise. Seems like this place is inside the Black Spear we saw hanging over Tokyo. Does that mean Heavenly Host has already appeared in our world? By all appearances, yes. It's a rather terrifying prospect if the walls that separate the real world and the Ever After were to break, and the two would become one. I can't even imagine how this place must manifest itself. That shrine with the bells is fully lit now. Miss Kuan, Satoshi, Kushinuma, let's go. Yes, let's. All right. Come on, Yoshiki. The fuck you slowing down for? Shinozaki, where the hell did you go? The new Book of Shadows. With it, I have obtained the full power of the Nirvana. The power to surpass Sachi. Okay, so use it and stop her. Her curse is spreading across the whole world, right? So save everyone. That's the whole reason I gathered these crystals, isn't it? <laughs> Fat chance. I don't give two shits about this world, or Sachi, or any of that. I just needed you so I could make this book. So you were just using me? Yeah, fucking duh. I was clenching my fist so hard that my scrawny arms were quivering. Try as I may to think of a response. There was just no words for this. All I could do was glare. Go ahead and hate me. You're too late to actually make any difference. You see that hole in the sky? It's the beginning of the end. The Nirvana was finally... The Nirvana finally begun seeping into reality. The world would take a turn... Oh, God damn it! I can't read anymore. Fuck. <laughs> the world would take... The world will take a turn down now. Falling prey to absolute chaos and death. It's gonna be fun. Every single person on Earth will go stark, raving mad. Stark, raving, stark, raving. Fucking what the fuck? <laughs> and it's all thanks to you, Ayumi Shinozaki. Your utter obliviousness has ensured that my wish will be fulfilled. In a way, I suppose that makes you de a death goddess, doesn't it? The most tragic and deranged one ever, ex ever to exist. Fuck. Well, I can't read no more. <laughs> He's beyond corrupt. With this? <laughs> what? What are you trying to do here? Get revenge, of course. Misito slowly turned around, revealing a strangely cold and expressionless face. Yet even if his true features had no depth, his eyes shone with the utmost cartoonish malevolence. He had quite literally become the embodiment of pure evil.
from a spot in the real world that was clearly visible to us through the fracture. Frag I'm going to call it a fracture. I, I hate saying the word fracture. Through the fracture in the sky, a large black monolith-like pillar suddenly sprouted out of the ground. The Nirvana's power of lust couldn't be sated. Could have been sated. Oh God, could have been sated by this dimension alone. So it seemed it begun spreading there as well. That, my friends, is the Entity Wall. Come on, Nirvana. That all you got? You can do better than that, and you will. Because guess who's in control of you? That's right, I am. He pounded the book, and just like that, another Entity Wall formed. This time, it spawned beneath the freeway, puncturing, puncturing and utterly destroying it, scattering countless cars and bikes everywhere, which everywhere which way, as if they were toys. No! What? Ignorant fools. I'll show you my vision of justice. The Yagori will never die. The Gori? The Gora? I don't fucking know, I don't care. Stop, please. Ayumi. I was an ass for believing in you. You certainly were. I was keeping track of you through that Argus cube the whole time. You were like a loyal puppet doing my bidding without even knowing it. The only beings capable of crystal crystal uh, god damn it. The only beings capable of crystallizing the power of Nirvana are the inheritors of the Shinazaki bloodline, you see? So I had no choice but to let you do the dirty work in my stead. To think it would go this smoothly though, it took almost no effort to link the Nirvana and the real world. You liar! Double crosser! You traitor! He told me. He told me I can bring them all back. Whining like a baby can't save you now. The new grimoire will be perfect. And you won't have to worry your pretty little head about it anymore because I'll be releasing you from your duties as Shinazaki. Understand? This book controls the full power of the Nirvana. And the inheritor of the Book of Shadows, considerable power isn't gonna be Mar isn't gonna be Martuba's tomb. Nor will it be you of the Shinazaki lineage. It will be me. I don't care who inherits it, as long as it's not a sick freak like you. Just give me the book. Think about what you're doing. Think about how it would make Sis feel. Are you a fucking idiot? Nothing I do is gonna make some dead bitch come. <laughs> dead bitch feel a damn thing. Oh shit. Dead bitch? Don't tell me everything you said about Hanoi was a lie too. Misito flinched slightly. I seem to have struck a nerve. Though, how deeply the nerve ran, I couldn't say. You recover quickly, but still. Yeah, I expected that. What of it? All you need to know is your sister was a dumbass, throwing everything away that she worked for, and even sacrificing her own lives to save the likes of you. My tear glance twitched in pain. My tear glance? My tear gland... I can't even say it. Twitched in pain. Every negative emotion came flooding through me at once. I wanted to pounce on this man. I wanted to wring his neck. I wanted him to die. Your usefulness has come to an end for me. Thanks to you, the end of the world is closer than ever. All that's left for you now is to repent your sins and perish. It really was all my fault. Again. All those deaths were on me. All the suffering, the pain, the fear. It was all caused by me. I'll take mercy on you, though. And spin... And send you to meet your sister right now. Prepare to die. Ayumi! Shinozaki, run! I thought he got stabbed for a moment, I'm not gonna lie. Kishinuma! Seriously, go! This guy's lost it! You dare speak ill of me? I know that peasant face of yours. Who are you again? Kishinuma, stop! It's too dangerous. Yeah, I know. Just get away from him. But he's probably right. It was my own reckless behavior that caused all this to happen. 
It's because I don't think before I act. Or oh, now you admit to it. Uh huh. It's too late. Suzumoto, Miss Yui, Morishigi, Shinohara, even my sister. It's all my fault. All my fault. I wish I'd never been born. I tried to scream those words, but my voice was so hoarse that they came out almost as a squeak. I crouched down and buried my face in my hands at this point, and in doing so, I failed to notice the sudden appearance of none other than Sachiko, red dress and all. Shinozaki, no! This isn't your fault. You're not responsible. You just wanted everybody to be happy. You wanted to see all your friends live, uh, live well. And who the hell can possibly find fault with that? I can. Being tricked isn't your fault. It's the fault of the person who tricked you. So get this through your thick skull. You did nothing wrong. You are not to blame. Kishinuma. The emotions. Hey, the crew's all here. Yoshiki, class rep. Shinazaki. Huh? Sis? Machida, you're all here, but why? Hmm. Misuto... Misito ceased trying to wrestle with Kishinuma, instead making a grand sweeping motion with his hand. Kishinuma! Bastard needs to learn when to quit. I felt like I was covered in a thin film of snot and tears by this point, but I put on the most intimidating face I could manage and tried to stare Misito down. He did stop and stare back, Though it certainly wasn't due to imitation. In no way, you failed. You've left nothing of value behind in this world. What the hell is your problem? You are Satoshi Mochita. <laughs> in that moment, the entire space shook violently, moving every which way beneath our feet. As this us uh, as this obscure wow. As this obscured wait. God damn it, I can't read no more. As this occurred, a massive, visually indescribable object floating into existence behind us. How marvelous. It's the seventh pillar. The Sephiroth of Knowledge. I made this happen with the power of my Book of Shadows. What in the world? It's over, Ayumi. With this destructive pillar, it won't just be a simple fissure no more. The wall between our worlds will break down and reality will fuse with the Nirvana. Uh, why is... Why is her... Why is her privates glowing? <laughs> What's happening to your stomach? Huh? There was a light emanating from my stomach, but as soon as I caught a glimpse of it, it disappeared. An illusion? Nice try. Now let's get ready to bring down the wall, shall we? Uh, uh fuck. <laughs> I lost my place. Heavenly host will crumble too, you know? But you'll make a fine sacrifice. Ayumi, as you, as will you. Kuan Niwa. Wait, what? Okay, I read that wrong. But you'll make a fine sacrifice, Ayumi, as will you, Kuan Niwa. You know me? Of course, you're that famous prodigy, the human who raised standards across the board for medicine, occult studies, and technology. Mochida, Nakashima, and Kishinuma all turned their heads at once to look at Kuon, jaws slightly agape. The three of them had no knowledge of any of this, so all they could do was stare in disbelief. Fortunately, due to your immense talents, your parents and sisters alike have been inevitably corrupted. And look how well that worked out for them. No, it's not true. Now then, I'm a bit bothered that I couldn't locate the Nirvana's core, but no matter. Once the school's been turned to rubble, I'll have all the time in the world to find it. And then the new Book of Shadows will be completed. Miss Kuan looked down at her Ever After Stones, but the spirit meter she attached to them still wasn't showing a full charge. No good. 
Very nice. Good boy. What do I do? Uh, oh shit, I didn't even- Damn, that was a quick one. I probably should have went to stop Misato. I hesitated for a moment, torn as to whether I should try to stop Misato or prior towards lending a hand to Kishinuma and my friends. I can't let that happen. I will stop you. Huh? The fuck was that? Stop. You have to stop this. Oh, hey, Breezy. <laughs> you missed a lot since last time. Oh boy, you missed a lot. <laughs> a lot has happened. Uh, a lot has happened. There was the most desperate cry. That was the most desperate cry I could have. Damn it, I can't even read no more. That was the most desperate cry I've yet, I yet heard from Aiko. Please, don't kill her. This has nothing to do with this. I? How pathetic. God, Aiko, just don't die. Come on, I spent this whole game wondering if he was alive or not. <laughs> oh, shit! Just as Miss Kuan screamed, a giant hellish beast spawned right before our eyes. On the front of it was an enormous mouth. It made a beeline straight for Aiko and passed right through her body. Huh? Something not unlike black, not unlike black smoke coiled around it for a moment. It roared like a dinosaur, twisted its body to, uh, to and fro, and flew over the guardrail and, ex and exited the scene. The only thing it left behind was Aiko's body, without a head. I literally just said, please don't die. I didn't want her to die! She remained upright for a split second, then tumbled lifelessly over the rail and into the pit. I? We lost another one! Jesus! To bits with you, Heavenly Host Elementary. As if on cue, the entire school began to shake violently. So violently that not a single one of us could keep our balance. Naomi! This is well beyond any other earthquake we ever experienced at Heavenly Host to date. The shaking eventually died down, but things looked a lot different when it did. The sky above us was now blood red, with certain sections here and there bursting in black flames. And on that note, farewell my guinea pigs. So where the hell is Yuka? Oh, by the way, Breezy, while you was gone, Yuka's friend died. Misato killed her, tripped her down the steps. She, uh, broke her jaw, snapped her neck, and then he put a towel over her face or some shit. How could this happen? Miss Kuon. The Nirvana. The school. It's going to collapse. Miss Kuon, is there some... Is there some way back? My Ever After Stones aren't fully charged yet. It'll be several hours yet until they are. No. Well, I mean, both of the people who had the Ever After Stones were pushed down that railing. So, uh... Maybe if we just run down there and pick it off their bodies, we can get the fuck out of here. I was slumped over, crying my eyes out as this conversation unfolded. Miss Kwan looked over at me, however, and saw something else. A girl in a red dress, standing directly behind me. Sachiko. Thanks for not helping, Sachiko. You just sat there and watched Aiko die. You may yet be able to save yourself. Miss Kuan, if you die, I'm going to turn this game off, and I'll never play it ever again. What? Sachiko Shinozaki has possessed you. You should listen to what she has to say. No. I objected strongly, for obvious reasons. But I knew she was right, at least about the possession. I can sense Sachiko behind me. I can see her now, too. But... 
but of everyone else what but of everyone else present what the fuck what that's weird that's that's a weird way to to word that but of everyone else present miss kuan was okay well if i read it together i thought that was a period i didn't know it was a comma okay <laughs> but of everyone else present only miss kuan was able to see it no miss kuan i'm staying with you all well, I don't mean to be blunt, but if those tears of yours were true, and you do feel some sense of responsibility for what happened here, as you should, then the only way for you to atone is to live and watch over the future of this world, and protect this. If you choose death, even, with, even when there's a chance to live, then you're simply giving up. You're running away. No. We don't have time to argue. Go. No. Aw, little adorable Sachiko, little possessed ghost, you little fucking evil thing that killed my friends. I was absolutely inc uh, inconsolable, but Miss Kuan just smiled. She stood behind me and patted Sachiko on the head. Sachiko responsible for so much pain and torment, who now looked for all, who now looked for all the world like a pure, innocent, lost little girl. You're sad. <laughs> the one time you see Aiko in the stream, this happened. You're sad. This whole entire game, I'm like, I hope she's alive. I hope she's alive. Damn it. Reacting to this new stimulus, Sachiko, like, out of the new characters, not counting Miss Kuan, out of the new characters that appeared, she was my favorite. Reacting to this new stimulus, Sachiko closed one eye and turned her head towards Miss Kuan, a satisfied expression on her face. Please? I'm responsible for so much pain and loss of life, yet only I, I get to be saved. <laughs> Take her away. I had no conscious I had no conscious desire to go along with this. Yet it seemed I was rather God, I can't even read anymore. It seemed I was. Uh whether I liked it or not, everything around me began glowing white and my body was lifted off the ground. Be strong. She really was so much like Miss Yui. Below me I could see Mochita shielding shield Nakashima from the falling debris while staring at my rapidly ascending body. Kishinuma had stood back up now, and was watching me as well. No! Mochita! Nakashima! Miss Kuan! Are you not gonna yell... Are you not gonna yell fucking... <laughs> Kishinuma's name out? The only name she didn't yell out was the guy who's been thirsting for her this whole time. In an instant, the turbul uh. The turbulent... I can't even fucking read no more. Turbulent face of Mochita... Tur turbulent? Yeah, that's the word, right? Turbulent face... Fates of Mochita, Nakashima, Kishinuma, and Ms. Kuan all came to a close as the four of them were... were distantly and unmistakably crushed before my eyes. Oh... Fuck. Everyone died! My vision warped. My memories jumbled. And then there was just the sky. The sky that hung above the real world. Above our world. The black orb was there, and it was swelling up bigger and bigger. Almost like a fetus rapidly... Rapidly gesting... Gesting? Oh God. What is that word? Gestating? Gestating. That's the word. Gestating to term. It quickly grew too big. Damn, I can't read no more. Damn! It quickly grew too big to be contained and burst open. Strands of black energy shot out in all directions, and the entirety of the night sky was dyed in eerie reddish black. The Nirvana had now broken free of its bonds, and it wasted no time pulling the real world into its embrace. To be continued. So we're gonna save everybody, right? We're gonna go back in time or some shit, right? We're gonna have some time travel shit. What's with what's with time travel being the answer to everything? All right. Soulful testimonies been adding. Okay, bunch of shit. Extra chapter four has been unlocked. I got an achievement named Memories Like Beautiful Dreams. 
Can we just pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Because I can really use a wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now. <laughs> New chapter. Chapter 7. Let me just check the time I have. I have like about an hour. About an hour left. Blood Drive. Chapter 7. Determination. Are you determined enough? It's the end of, it's the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> the sounds of fire trucks and patrol cars echoed through the streets. The sky was dark, the air stale, air stale, the air stall, stall, stale, stall, Ugh, whatever. And the many strong cold gusts of wind bore mass amounts of dust and debris. Can't believe I referenced that. Of course. Why wouldn't I? I didn't even, I didn't envy the reporter, the rep wait, what? I didn't envy the reporter her job. I feel like I'm having a stroke. As she seemed mere moments from being blown off her feet. But, to her credit, she preserved. Behind her, uh, she preserved. Behind her, there was a black shadow of an old man. I'm here reporting on what's been dubbed the nationwide ghost disaster state. Which local representatives claim to now, to now in effect, wait, what? Representative claim is now in effect as of last night. God, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> the string of unexplained and potential unexplained what? And potentially unexplainable deaths. God, <laughs> that's been plaguing the city presently. Shows no signs of letting up. As you can see by this clear map of accuracy, here's the zones of the fucked upitude of what's happening. Suspicious and sudden and sudden demises, homicides with unknown motives and reports of paranormal uh, visitations are all increasing at an alarming rate. The police forces in each prefecture are still weighing their options for dealing with this issue, and few have made any official statements thus far. So far, we can only chalk up the official statement to being, shit is fucked up, and I can't believe ghosts exist. The old man's shadow in the background began acting strangely, jumping in place and making various other aimless motions. The Metropolitan Police, meanwhile, have suggested that all locals travel to a safe wait what? All locals travel to a safe location in groups of three or more as soon as possible, remaining indoors until further notice. The sudden devastating appearance of the black pillars throughout Japan last night had also led the the MLIT to declare a state of emergency, setting up disaster shelters and outlooks. Outlooks? Lookouts. Why did I say that backwards? Official word from local bureaus on how these pillars are affecting traffic. Traffic? You're worried about traffic? The status of, uh, the status of damage to the rivers, as well as any countermeasures being taken, can be seen here. Experts have analyzed the pillars, composition, and concluded that they are made of previously unknown material. They tossed around names like Spirit Matter and Entity Wall. Well, at least they got one right. Due to their rapid growth and the complete inability of every seismograph to predict where they, were sp where they may spawn, the number of casualties is quite high and global tensions are even higher. Everything up to and including industrial clutters and blades... Clutters? Clutters. Cutters and blades have been employed in an attempt to cut through these objects, but with absolutely no effect. I feel like whenever there's like an end of the world scenario happening, the first place that's gonna get hit is fucking Japan. It's always Japan. Every time it's like, and then Japan was just wiped off the face of the fucking earth. Understandably so. Because it's like, why wouldn't that be the first location to get got, you know? They're super technologically advanced. The Ministry of Defense is using using JSDF data, I have no idea what the fuck that means, to explore the strong possibilities that these pillars are related in some way to the aerial sphere that hovered in our skies only days ago. If Japan's not destroyed, it's usually like the last line of defense. <laughs> I have heard the list of newly appointed relief shelters, so if, if you live in one of the designated evacuation areas, please take note of the information on your screen. This information is also available on our website, and through- You think people are checking your fucking website at this point in time? Do the cell towers even work? And, the, and through our mobile apps, 
but do note that any gymnasiums and schools shown in white are full, so you'll need to look elsewhere. We strongly recommend that you proceed to the nearest open facilities as soon as possible. What if the- what the- wait, what the fuck happened? <laughs> what happened to that guy? <laughs> Gotta promote the business. But if things, <laughs> but if these things can sprout up anywhere without warning and give you no time to escape, evacuation is meaningless. There's not a damn thing anybody can do to stay safe. Oh, so I guess he just got up and ran. Whether you die or not is just dumb luck. When the hell are the police gonna get off their asses and make a statement? And they're scared of public outcry. You think the police are gonna fucking be the ones to solve this problem, guys? Come on, come on. This is a fucking, it's a state emergency. Fuck state emergency, it's a nationwide emergency. You gotta, you gotta head to the Emperor of Japan and be like, what's going on, dude? Japan has an emperor, right? But he's not the highest one. It's usually the people who are actually in charge of like the Japanese, uh, Japanese diet, right? I'm not sure. I don't know anything about Japanese politics. Don't mind me. Anyways, as they're, as they're scared of uh, public outcry, are they hiding something? The middle-aged announcer was yelling at the top of his lungs, and in an absolute frenzy, he kicked his studio desk to the ground. A black shadow of a woman could be seen behind him. And there was me, just sitting at home. Class rep? Shinazaki? Mayu? Mayumi? Shinazaki? Huh? Hey, it's the spirit of my dead friend. Uh, my dead friends. I don't know why I lost my voice for a split second there. Thank you for bringing us back to life. Bullshit, you're not alive. If you're alive, show me your face. You mean I did it? Of course not. <laughs> but a whole lot more people have died now. Huh? The room grew dark, and each of the four figures who stood before me slowly melted into blackness, becoming indis indi uh, indistinct silhouettes. Even Mochita, Nakashima, and Kishinuma have died. So many people gone. What is th What's this? Even we haven't actually been revived, huh? What was it you were trying to do again, Ayumi? No. I screamed and looked up. It was just a dream. I was at home watching TV. Dream or not, the fucking world's being taken over by ghosts. The voice crack fixed perfect with how messed up the situation is. It wasn't even a voice crack. It was like my voice just escaped me. Nothing but air came out. I scratched myself up again, putting my face to my knees. Bringing them back. Bringing it back again. Bringing them back, bringing them back. I was like a broken record with that, but it was a doom idea from the start. Everything I've done has been pointless, so what do I do now? It's almost like there was a bunch of people telling me not to fucking do this shit, and I just didn't listen. It made things worse. I thought I could revive him. I really did. I mean, if I can come back from Yoshi's house, despite those injuries, and lose my sister... Then everybody should be able to come back. Your sister died and she said, cut that shit out. <laughs> and you said, oh, what'd you say? Continue? Got it. I raised my face from my knees, eyes red and burning. Then as if I, oh God. What the fuck happened out there? Then as if I had already been, there's already been enough tragedy in my life, I heard a loud crash just outside my house. It was unmistakably a car wreck and rather severe one at that. The car's alarm was going off, but I was trying my best to ignore it. I didn't need this right now, so I simply wasn't going to bother with it. Sis, what do I do? Huh? Sis? I'm gonna take a guess and say it's Megari. She's alive? Up next, we learn that the CEO of PL Promotion Co's is among those who have gone missing. Oh, don't bring that back up. Look how angry she is. She's adorable when she's angry. The car alarm outside was still going off and it was getting harder and harder to ignore by the second. So bring in my fucking doorbell. 
who's where it was ringing my doorbell was really, really persistent. The irregular sound brought me back to reality. I crept over to the peephole and slightly looked through to see who was visiting at this hour. On the other side of the door stood a man I didn't recognize. He had short hair and he was pressing the chime frantically as if his life depended on it. Oh, fuck that. Uh-uh. Nope. Go back upstairs. Slap a talisman on your door and say, spirits be gone. Who's that? I was kind of creeped out. I really shouldn't open the door, but I mean, I made a bunch of dumb decisions already. What's another one? Come on in. I moved away from the peephole. All right. Fuck. <laughs> the persistent ringing continued for a bit, but then finally, thankfully, it came to an abrupt halt. I slowly crept back to the people and took another look. The man was still there. He was just pacing back and forth in place in front of the house for all he knew had no occupants. After another short while, he approached the door again and immediately put his eye right up to the outside of the people. If I move now, he totally knew I'm here. I mean, wouldn't his eye meet yours? Wouldn't he know? Or unless he would think he was looking at his own eye. But you have blue eyes and he has black ones. Okay, whatever. The man moved his head away but quickly replaced it with his finger. Which he swirled around and around inside the tight space as if trying to reach my eye or poke it out. Oh god. Then he stepped away from the door. I couldn't take this opportunity to slowly move away from the pee hole, but I was oddly transfixed. Bad decisions all around. Thank God. Now all he has to do is leave. And then I heard gunshots. Of course, the second I thought that, he came back to the door yet again. And yet again, he skipped the doorbell and went straight for the pee hole. What does he want? Why isn't he saying anything? It's really creeping me out. Well then fine, I'll just open the door and give him a piece of my mind. Ayumi with the great ideas. I grabbed the doorknob and was moments away from following through with the plan when suddenly... Sachiko showed up, slapped me, and said, cut that shit out. <laughs> Sachiko? Don't open it. What? He's dead. Sachiko? So he turned to look at her. The Nirvana in the world, uh, the Nirvana is the world of the dead, and the world is coming here. Oh! I thought, I thought he was about to just fucking take a car and go through the wall. Imagine if he was just a normal salesman during the end of the world. So the happy mass man, the happy mass salesman from fucking Majora's Mass. He's all like, hey man, I just came here, you, you wanna buy this mask? Then there was an oddly familiar sound, another car accident, again right outside my door. This time I looked outside through the peephole and saw the man from earlier sandwiched between a car and the wall and the wall of one of the houses across the street. He was absolutely mangled. But after only a few moments the man's corpse disappeared, leaving nothing but a shadow in its place, on the wall and around alike, a black stain away on the wall and the ground alike. What the fuck is wrong with me? I can't read no more. Sachiko, never leave my side. What is this? What's happening to this world? Not that I... Not that I even really had to ask. Is this from breaking down the walls of the Nirvana? I wasn't just asking myself. I was asking Sachiko, whose presence still remained just behind... Just behind my back. But she just looked up at me with sad eyes. Oh, Sachiko, I can't be mad at you, even though you did kill my friends. You're too adorable to be mad at. The person just now was one of the deceased, and if he turned into a black stain, then... No, it couldn't be. I pulled my smartphone from my pocket and forced myself to remain calm enough to access the photo, but then just stopped and stared. God, no.
the photo displayed on my phone, which was now on the floor. Oh, uh, they're all gone. <laughs> no. No longer had just my friends from before with blacked out faces, but Mochita, Nakashima, and Kishinuma as well. Ugh. This is all your fault, Ayumi. I pounded the floor with both hands and shuddered violently. Thou shalt repent. Oh, the end of the world is nigh. Oh, God shall not forgive those who are to unclean and discreet. Discreet? Indiscreet. Oh, some cultist groups were speaking on TV. I guess the news must have ended at some point when I wasn't paying attention. The end of the world, huh? This time I was just, I was just plain talking to myself. Hey, I knew you were alive. Here's the other super anime character they added into this game. And that's right, the end. Whoever thought the last remaining your your go God fuck these names, Yagora could have could have enough suicide bomber determination to dream up something like this. Magari appeared in my hallway. I had no idea how long she'd been there, nor how she'd gotten in. I noticed she still had her heels on though. It's the end of the world, and you're sitting there like you got your shoes on in my house. Like what the fuck? Fuck you, Japan. <laughs> It's you. I stood up, and Sachiko was, as always, waiting in the wings behind me. Sachiko is effectively my stand now. Ayumi is now confirmed a JoJo character. I came back with the Ever After Stones, used them in mid-air- Yep, I expected as much. Uh-huh, I knew she would do some shit like that. While I was falling down the bell tower. Heavenly Hose is totally destroyed, though. So these are just plain ordinary stones now. To demonstrate, Magari stabbed the two together. Nirvana, I summon the dead. See? Probably flinched, but she was right. Nothing happened. Within the next few hours, this world will be totally blanket in chaos. It's gonna be the new land of the dead. Sucks, huh? This is seriously the cataclysm. And to top it all off, my order on TV, my, what? My order on TV there, fucking shameless, wait, what? And to top it all off, that's my order on TV there. Oh, that's her cult that she's a part of. God. That confused me because I know Japan, they still buy shit off of TVs, like idiots. <laughs> so I thought she was like, that's my package from Amazon, I never got here, fuck. Fucking shameless, aren't they? Even I gotta draw the line at this point. She pulled back her chin and flashed me a, str a stained smile. Strained? Strained. Strained smile. I can't even fucking read no more. Oh yeah, our parents went crazy and joined. So, you know. Oh, your parents went crazy and joined. This day couldn't have been much worse for me. Are you okay leaving things like this then? Magari wasn't mincing words, it seemed. I held my head in both my hands and looked down at the ground. If you feel responsible, come with me for a bit. I have something to discuss with you about your bloodline. Magari approached me and grabbed my arm. You're making Sachiko mad. You shouldn't have done that. Sachiko, still right behind me, began to growl like a guard dog. Aww. I now need a picture of a growling, growling Sachiko. Just heard going woof woof bark bark. <laughs> Get your hands off me. I can't even say my friends. I can't do anything. I don't know what the hell different what the hell difference the blood of the Shinozaki is supposed to make. But I'm just Ayumi. And Ayumi's worthless. Besides, the person who first introduced the Nirvana to this world was Yoshi, not me. I screamed as loudly and as fiercely as I could. I didn't do anything wrong. Besides, get my friends killed, and my sister killed, and get more of my friends killed, and get the world fucked up, because I just wouldn't listen. I closed my eyes and cried the hardest I ever cried, sobbing so intently that I found myself nearly hyperventilating. Ugh. 
Oh, that would make Sachiko mad. Magari slapped me down to the ground. And she spat on me and called me a dirty bitch. <laughs> Need to beware of Sachiko sign. Sachiko's now that Sachiko's not a little murderous bastard, I love her. <laughs> You're one stubborn bitch, you know that? Go to hell. Got a hell of an ego too. For once in your life, just suck it up. Held my cheek and continued sobbing. Magari was looking down on, on me with contempt in her eyes, but also a certain in, intensity that seemed more akin to desperation than anything. Naomi Shinazaki, here's one fact you should know. Feel the sexual tension going on there. Once the seven pillars, the sephiroth of knowledge, starts up, it's all over. The end of the world is carved in stone. However, Magari closed in on me as if our lips were about to t All right. All right. Okay. All right. Not in front of the child. Not in front of the little Sachiko. She'll pick up bad habits. <laughs> Look at her. Sachiko growled again, but Magari was clearly not intimidated in the slightest. The Book of Shadows isn't gone yet. What? You came in contact with the original book, so since you drew the blood of the Shinazaki, you may yet be able to fight Misato. I was still hesitating, and Magari apparently didn't much like that. God, just come the fuck on. Suddenly, Magari was pulling up the top of my uniform. My plump, white stomach was now fully exposed. Piece of shit book is right here. She pointed to the spot just below my belly button. What? As she did so, my stomach started growling with an unearthly roar and shifted in place slightly. It was almost like there was a snake slithering. Ah. I don't think she ate the book. I think when the book burned up as a precautionary measure, the book probably manifested itself inside of her or some bullshit. Think of it like, uh, shit. What example could I even fucking use? Uh, think of it like, okay, shit. I don't even, I don't even think I can use Street Fighter. In Street Fighter, Ryu has this power called the Setsui no Hado, and it's just like this darkness inside of him. Think of it just like as an energy source that can be pulled out, I guess. Or whatever the fuck Aizen does to Rukia in Bleach, or fucking uh, the Nine-Tailed Fox in Naruto, or some shit. Right? Just an ener energy source that can be just pulled out, I guess. It was, it was almost like there was a snake slithering around inside of me. Sure would have been nice if you noticed that a little sooner. Yeah, it seems, I, I swear that there's some sort of weird fetish shit thing going on with the writers of Quartz Party, because every game someone's just like, oh, I feel like there's something inside my stomach, like I gotta use the bathroom. Every fucking time. Every goddamn game. That thing's been sleeping inside you since you first used its power in the basement of Yoshi Shinazaki's estate. Magari crossed her arms and snorted. Of course, it's only a container. Nothing's in it right now. Growling like a cocky bastard. The growl that came from within my own body sounded like that of a wild beast. <laughs> Makes more sense than your idea. She just, someone just fed her the book and she didn't notice. There's no way. Is this for real? I was actually tricked pretty good. Originally, the elders sent me to support you in your efforts to obtain the Book of Shadows from the other realm, among other things. Okay. Magari, if you were sent to help me, A, why didn't you start with that? B, why did you try to trick me? And C, why are you so obsessed with killing everything? But of course, that still means I was planning on stealing it from you as soon as you got your hands on it. Then why would you constantly tell everyone you were going to kill them? Magari, I still don't like you. Now though, that, uh, now though, that doesn't matter. If the world's gonna, if the world, ah, God. If the world's going to pot, there's nothing really, ah, oh God. There's not really any means to become the heir to the, 
for the Martubas anymore, is there? And that just fucking sucks. Huh? It all goes back to Misato. Misato. If that little fucker think he's won the war, he's got another thing coming. Don't you just want to slaughter him like a pig right now? And there goes the killing. You should stop being such a pussy. <laughs> stop being such a pussy. Get up. And look at all the things you're capable of. There'll be time enough to abandon all your potential after you're dead. My aunt, my aunt. What the fuck am I saying? My eyes began to, to well up yet again. Are you saying there's still something I can do? The guard's expression turned deadly serious. Do whatever you can to bring the Book of Shadows out of your body. Gain control over it. If the book re recognizes your determination, it would extract itself naturally. And if you have the power of the book at your disposal, it'll lead the, it will lead the way right back into Misito's Nirvana. I can only stare in incredible uh, God, incredulous uh, God. I can't say the word fuck. I I'm not even gonna try. <clears throat> I can only stare dumbfoundedly at my abdomen. Magari took this opportunity to open my front door again to illustrate her point. Outside, the weather was still completely anomalous. Anomalous. With hurricane-like winds and debris and debris clouds everywhere, the clouds up above too were moving abnormally fast. Though a dis a uh, God, through a disconcerting blood-red sky. Oh, God. That fucking noise that I just heard. I did not like... <laughs> what the hell was that noise that just went through my headphones? It was like static. It ringed in my fucking head. It sucked. Every few seconds, a, a sound not unlike a spark plug firing could be heard echoing from the distance as another black flame ignited and burned itself out in some random spot. I mean, you're gonna lie down and die with this world either way. So, what, uh, so what, I got. So what have you got to lose? Show me how tough you are. Well, you still got the chance. Just remember, the book was born from black magic. It adores cruelty and blood. With those parting words, Magari said, Fuck you, I'm not helping you, it's up to you now. I'm just gonna go crawl up and die somewhere. Magari disappeared into the city, the sounds of her heels clacking softer and softer until they were no longer audible at all. Sachiko and I could do nothing but see her off. If Sachiko was like my little spirit animal thing, I would just pet her all day. Just give her head pats all day. I wouldn't be able to just leave her alone. I'd be like, hey, you want a sandwich? Even though she's a ghost and she probably doesn't need anything to eat. The entire nation was now plagued with entity walls and black silhouette-like spirits of the dead. The entity walls were rapidly destroying schools, downtown passbys, uh, passbys, passbys. What the fuck am I saying? Bypasses and other crucial traffic cornerstones, and even rescue shelters, creating countless new casualties by the minute. People were running in the streets, panicked and confused, and almost certainly not much longer for this earth. Where we where we're supposed to go? It doesn't matter. Just run and you'll or you'll be crushed. What about overseas? How are you gonna get there with the sky and the ocean both screwed up? Meanwhile, in Miss Kuan's office, the black suited agents watched in horror as each TV monitor displayed a feed from a different news network across the world, and the stories were exactly the same on all of them. Boss, what are we supposed to do? How's this book supposed to recognize my determination? What the hell am I supposed to do? I don't know. I need a save point, though. That's what I know. There's nothing I can do there right now? Back to my living room. My determination? Where's the kitchen? Oh. Oh. Here we go. I know what I must do right off the bat. Determine this, you son of a bitch. Sis, give me strength. Oh, you know what you must do. From the mirror dresser sat Hinoe's zodiac dagger. 
I gripped it in terror, closed my eyes, and started shaking. Do whatever you can to bring the Book of Shadows out of your body and gain control over it. Just remember, the book was born from black magic and it adores cruelty and blood. Uh-huh, yep. I can hear it loud and clear. I couldn't back down now. I lifted the dagger in front of me and poised, and poised to plunge it into my body and carve myself open as a samurai once did in the ritualistic suicide called Seppaku. Seppaku. But I couldn't go through with it. I was too scared of death, too scared of pain. And then Sachiko just shows up and just fucking goes, Oh man, I'll do it. Just starts cutting you a new one. The face that reflected back at me in the mirror was twisted with fear. I didn't even recognize myself. But I couldn't see it in those eyes all the weight. Wait, what? But I could see in those eyes all the weight that has been put on my shoulders, all the responsibilities I've been forced to bear. I'm a coward. I'm small and weak. The world doesn't need me. I won't be missed. Well, if you're feeling that way, then just stab yourself already. <laughs> but I can make a difference here and now. My mind was made up. I lifted the dagger again. Only to bring it halfway to the destination before halting. Oh my god, pussy, just do it! No matter how determined I was, no matter how strongly my conviction, this was literally suicide. I knew it had to be done, but knowing and accepting are two different things. I began crying like a baby. This was the most afraid I ever been in my entire life, and almost certainly the most afraid I would ever be. At this point, the only way I'd be able to go through with it was to clear my mind and let my arms make the motions automatically. Before I knew it, before I knew it, what the fuck? Before I knew it, that's exactly what I did. Oh yeah, it hurt so good. Most likely because I wasn't thinking about it or anything else. For that matter, the dagger found absolutely no resistance. It was like applying excess force to slicing a cake. For a very brief moment, I felt nothing, but then convulsion started first in my abdomen, and it quickly spread it up to the rest of my body. My abdomen was now spasming and, con and constricting, constricting, constricting. My bad, constricting involuntarily, and the rest of me wasn't faring much better. My entire body was in total chaos. Stop being a pussy. You gotta do more than that. Like, get in there. Really dig in there and get it. The extent of my of the agony I felt at the moment was absolutely impossible to convey. It was all-encompassing. I was utterly incapable of focusing on anything else. My lower body was spewing bright red blood. Thick black blood and unknown yellow substance. That's called fat. Which I'm surprised she has any of. <laughs> all of which was bl blending together in a slurry. That was, at its core, my life essence. This went far beyond anything I could ever imagine. The sheer shock of it rendering my mind a jumble that I simply couldn't untangle. I knew there was a reason I'd done this to myself. Something I absolutely had to do. And it was crucial. But regaining enough conviction f function... Enough... God, conviction. Enough cognitive function to do it... To do it would be a challenge. I can't do this. To cut across yet and remove the book? There's no way. My head was swimming as I, as I tried beyond all reasonable measures to hang on to the consciousness just long enough to complete the task at hand. I could still see my face in the mirror, but only just as the blood that had been spurting from my abdomen had largely glazed it over. It was a truly frightful sight, comparable to if not more disturbing than anything I've seen in Heavenly Host. I can't do it. I felt feeble, helpless, and the face in the mirror was smiling at me, or it darkly... Wait, what? It was smiling at me. It darkly, obs obscenely. You can't do it? Uh-huh. Jet black crows flew outside the window, and in the moment, a fire sparked within me. Finally, a uh, feeling... God, feeling oddly resolute, I gripped the dagger, jutting out of my abdomen. Started digging in there. Really get in there, you know? And yanked it to the side with every last bit of strength I had left. The spray of blood gushing out of me became almost extraordinarily more violent. Extraordinarily? Exponentially. That was the word. I made up my own word. Most surprisingly, it seemed the equal amounts of blood were rushing to my brain as well. 
The effect was feeling like the blood vessels in my head were on the verge of bursting. The book just... <laughs> but just as I felt... I love how the book just appears, just plops down. But just as I felt like I was moments from my final blackout, I saw something. There amongst my own entrails on the ground was a blood-drenched tome. Gotta go early classes. Oh, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. I know once I find a save point after this, I'm definitely ending the stream. <laughs> it's been going on for a bit. It was the Book of Shadows, without question. My vision blurred from the intense loss of blood and even more intense pain. I fell forward, unable to maintain any semblance of balance any longer. And I landed right on it. With a loud, warm, and unpleasant splash, my face planted firmly into the book, which was ste which was steaming steamingly what which was steaming under the odd temperature differentials of my viscera. Sachiko, help me! I awoke with a start. I was still in Hanoi's room. Instinctively and frantically, I looked down at my abdomen. There I saw a scar resembling the one I almost died from during the blowback at Yoshi at Yoshi Zunazaki's house. A runic lettering and all. But that was it. The bleeding had stopped. In fact, there was no blood anywhere in the room, and on the floor in front of me sat the Book of Shadows. Not a copy, but the original. This is I slowly touched it. And from behind me, Sachiko spoke. The book has acknowledged you as its owner. She was staring at me with a docile, almost reverent look in her eyes. I picked up the book and looked at it, fear and awe of running through my now-cleared head. It grumbled a bit, darting its eyes back and forth. Eventually, it seemed to settle on a specific direction, locking its gaze. It seemed like it'd be looking out the window. What's out the window, book? What is that? Most likely the entrance to the Nirvana. Wait, Kisaraki Academy is in that direction. Hmm. Dad! Mom, why does my dad look like a fucking loser? <laughs> Thank goodness, I was worried sick about... The world has ended. The world has ended. Dad? Mom? Well, bye, guys! I'm not even gonna try it. The darkening has tucked in a hold of them. Have to hurry to Kizaraki Academy. How about we fucking... How about we save the game, damn it? Ah, oh, man. I got no time to check on the parents. No time to check on the parents. I'll be back for you, I swear. Oh. Uh-huh.
That was cool. <laughs> that was cool. Sachiko, can't believe I'm saying this, but have you been on my side? Having you by my side is kind of reassuring. Sachiko looked at me with sweet, innocent eyes. When I arrived at Kizaraki Academy, I got a much better look at the phenomenon. It was like a whirlpool with a red dully shining hole. Red dully. 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 God, fuck. <laughs> dully shining hole in its center. Was this the entrance to the Ever After? Beyond that is the Nirvana. Kinetic magic. Like how witches fly. No way. closed my eyes and clasped the Book of Shadows tightly in both hands and prayed. Book of Shadows, lend me strength. When I opened my eyes again and looked up into the sky, my body began to float. I was in control of the Book of Shadows. I was a legitimate practitioner of magic now. This moment felt almost like an awakening to endless new possibilities. I'm actually flying. And right next to me, flying by my side with Sachiko. Naomi? Huh? Huh? The momentary loss of focus dropped me out of my trance and I immediately began falling. I gripped the book even tighter and concentrated harder than before. Sure enough, I began rising up towards the vortex once more. Be careful, Ayumi. It's the book that's allowing you to use these powers. You mustn't let go of it. Understood. As I flew higher, I could see Magari sitting on the roof of the school. Looks like you managed to gain control over the Book of Shadows after all. I underestimated you, Ayumi Shinazaki. You even installed an escalator. Wait, what? Escalator? <laughs> you even installed an escalator from Kizaragi Academy right up to the Nirvana. Not too shabby. There's one more thing you can probably. There's one more thing you should probably know, though. The Nirvana is encroaching upon and and direct connection to this world isn't really your fault at all. Huh? The very moment the Heavenly Host Nirvana first appeared in this world? No, even further back, at the moment when the Book of Shadows was first created, the coming of this apocalypse was briefly an inevitability. I looked into Magari's face. She was being completely sincere. The former owner of that book, including Yoshi, including Yoshi Shinazaki, all tried desperately to stop it. Or at least slow it down. And when they learned they couldn't, they left the fate to the next generation instead. That's why the book continued to be handed down through the ages. I see. What that mean is, this all would have happened anyways, with or without you. Say for one thing, your actions resulting in the power of the Nirvana being handed over to Misito, the surviving member of the fucked up Yigori clan. Your Gora, your Gori, whatever. And you do need to take responsibility for that. Responsibility. You have the real Book of Shadows. But all the power of the Nirvana, broken up and distur and dis oh God, and distributed throughout Heavenly Host, has been absorbed by Misato's fake book. If you can't get it back and seal it in in that one uh God, I can't even read no more. I lost all ability of comprehension. If you can't get it back and seal it in that one, in that one though, you can easily outclass them. And if you go one step further, take, taking in the Nirvana's core, then that book will be complete. Now is the time to strike. Go in there and fuck them up. Before the world ends, let them see what real power tastes like. I'll be watching. Magari grew smaller as I climbed higher and higher. As I looked up, I, I could see the threshold looming even larger, poised as if to wrap itself around me. Ayumi? Hmm? Are you scared? Are you scared of dying? I don't know. Am I? I smiled at her. To my surprise, it was a genuine smile. Somehow or another, I was feeling very calm. Sachiko looked at me with wide eyes. What's wrong? She turned away briefly, then looked over at me once more. 
It almost seemed like, in that brief moment, she changed expressions in much the way someone would change a suit. Ayumi, what you should be scared of is Sachi and the person in Nirvana's core. Don't let your guard down. The person in Nirvana's core? It isn't Misato? Uh-huh. There's someone else. Oh, shit. I look back up to find myself practically right on top of the hole in the sky that stood in front of the abnormally huge red moon. And with my conviction settled, I jumped in. The harsh flesh, harsh flesh, the hard flash, the nausea, and the wrenching tightness in my chest caused me to lose consciousness for a second. But then I awoke to find the heaven and earth had switched places. It looked as though I were falling headfirst into the massive storm with flashing, with flashing lightning and roaring thunder. It almost seemed like I was previewing what the world would look like after its destruction. In the sky, there was an enormous face of a doll, and the walls around me were all made of flesh. I clenched the Book of Shadows with both hands and slowly made my landing in the new version of Nirvana. It was a mountain of rubble. What is this? Everything's broken into bits. Ow. That fucking hurt. What the hell? Ayumi, are you okay? Yeah, I can handle this much at least. I slowly carefully found my footing and pulled myself back up to my feet. This was entirely different heavily host. It bore almost no resemblance whatsoever to any version of the school we traversed previously. Heavenly host elementary turned into this? Where are the others? Mochita, Nakashima, Kishinuma, Muskuan, Aiko. I called out to my friends, but received no answer. All I can hear was the rumbling and twisting of the air around me. Oh no, they're all crushed. And Aiko's headless body. I don't know who the fuck that is. There was no mistaking it. In the midst of the wreckage, pieces of clothing from Kishinuma Mochita, Nakashima Miskuan, and Aiko were clearly visible. And the unfortunate souls who were wearing this clothing were all buried under fallen beams and other debris, and surrounded by veritable seas of blood. I knelt down and began sobbing uncontrollably. You guys... Misato, show yourself! What have you done is unforgivable. Sachiko stared at me and I continued to scream and cry. Ayumi? What is it, Sachiko? I'll see what I can do. I can try to restore Heavenly Host Elementary's destiny. At least some small part of it. What? Sachiko produced a a clair a clair what? A clavera necklace from her pocket. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Oh, she's adorable! The skeletal figure of the chain made a slight hollow clinking sound as it was handled, very much in actual, uh, very much as actual bones would. It looked handmade and seemed oddly warm, like a keepsake. What is that? I had this weird feeling that I'd seen this object somewhere before. I swear that looked familiar, but from where? Though she was looking down at the ground a bit, slightly guilty and slightly guarded. Sachiko giggled slightly. This is my treasure. A big smile crept across her lips, and for a moment she looked very... She looked every bit the part of an ordinary little girl. Huh? I was confused. Sachiko placed her hands on the Book of Shadows. Fact loop. And the book spoke. Repeat the same day. Followed by Sachiko. Time travel! Suddenly, I was in Yoshi Shinozaki's clinic. The very same clinic uh, Nakashima and I visit on the fateful day. This person is Yoshi. I was viewing Yoshi's memory of an event from long ago. Yoshi was writing something in her journal. 
I've analyzed the anagram. Okay, we read that already. There's no success rates. So, I was naive enough to attempt something. I was so foolish. I developed everything, blood and soul, blah, blah, blah. We read this already. And now the spell failed and Nirvana has escaped from the book. I created a whole other dimension. Worst of all, all the deceased who become trapped in the dimension are erased from existence in our world. Sachiko came into the room from the back. Her eyes met with Yoshi's and she smiled. However, since I was able to suppra uh, suppress the stray Nirvana, Sachiko stood obediently by her mother, wearing the white dress we seen on her in Heavenly Host. Yoshi patted her on the head uh, approvingly. Sachiko then coughed out a fine black mist, but sucked it back into her mouth like a crap. Like a crap. Like a carp? Carp. Yep, carp. That's the word. I could at least I could at least rescue one person's existence from the shadowy, uh, from that shadowy, forgotten forgotten fate. The face on the image was blacked out, like those of Sa like those of Seiko and others. However, hmm. To my surprise, the black markings were slowly peeling itself away, revealing features underneath. My vision slowly cleared, and when it did, amidst all the rumbling and shaking, I found myself back in Heavenly Host Elementary. Oh. Oh no. Then promptly Sachiko collapsed to the ground. Sachiko? Without thinking, I picked her up and held her limp, light body in my arms. Oh no! She used her spirit energy. She must have used up all her spirit energy as she was clearly drained. She was breathing, but only very lightly. Poor girl seemed to be in pain. Wait, I'm actually holding Sachiko? Sachiko was real. She had to be she had to have been, or I wouldn't be able to hold her like this. She seemed injured, but not in any traditional manner. There were cracks running through her body, each one emanating an unearthly blue, almost almost gaseous uh, gaseous light. Meanwhile, the school itself was also cracking and breaking all around me, making an indis incredible noise. The roof above began to crumble away. Crumble? Began to crumble away, providing glimpses of the real world. And incredibly, the entity walls hadn't spawned there yet. We're back. This is before everyone died. Sachiko, hang in there. Ayumi, I'm sorry I couldn't revert more time. No, Sachiko. Thank you. This was amazing. You did it. I could hardly believe it. I just compl I just complimented Sachiko of all people on a job well done. You're praising me? Her newly formed physical body was rapidly beginning to evaporate into mist. My voice was trembling, though I suspected it was less with fear and more with confusion. Yes, that was incredible. You're a good girl, Sachiko. She looked up into the sky, eyes being eyes beginning to well with tears. She was struggling to speak. Soon she wouldn't be able to at all. I wanted to apologize. What? She barely had any voice left, but was preserving nonetheless. This was clearly something she didn't want to leave unsaid no matter what. I know you can never forgive me, but I wanted to apologize anyways. And with that, she began full on crying. Sachiko. I couldn't help, I couldn't help doing the same. I killed a lot of people. I'm not a good girl. You shouldn't praise someone like me. The tears were streaming down my face now. Sachiko's voice was so mournful, so genuine. But you just saved a lot of people now too. So thank you. A massive earthquake shook the ground. Sachiko looked scared, so I patted her head and hugged her tightly. She then looked me squarely in the eye, ripping her, her, clav her clavier necklace tightly in her hands as if it was a rosary. It's strange, isn't it? What is? Once... Once you know you did right, passing isn't so scary anymore. Sachiko! No! She was my only friend in this world! Sachiko and the blue light alike both disappeared completely. She was gone. The being, uh, the being I was hugging just moments ago no longer existed. All I can do is clench my fist and mourn. 
look on Sachiko's face when she asked if I was scared of dying kept flashing through my head. Sachiko, you were the one who was scared, weren't you? I kept my head hung low for a moment and stood up and wiped the tears from my eyes. Accompanying the sound of rumbling, one single entity wall now stood in the real world. The cycle was beginning anew. Watch over me, Sachiko. One Shinozaki to another. Praise, good girl, unfair, Sachiko. Chapter 7! Ended. Determination. To be continued. Woo. Alright. Let's skip all that shit. Cool. Great. So. With all that said and done, I got two more fucking achievements for that. With all that said and done and out the way. I want to thank you guys for coming to watch this live. For those who did come live, thank you very much. It helps out a lot more than you know. And for those watching the VODs, I hope you are entertained by this as well. Went on pretty fucking long tonight. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it went on pretty long. <laughs> pretty long stream. Alright. Uh, let's see. So. For those who watch live, again, thank you. If you are not, please think about following or subscribing to the Twitch channel. If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoy the content, please leave a like. It does help with notoriety, makes the channel more visible for more people. Or just share it with some people if you know, right? Just go like, hey man, I've been watching this, I've been watching this, and I think I think it's pretty chill, pretty fine, pretty cool, I guess. I don't know, maybe. You know, just get the word out there. Uh, let's see. For those on YouTube, right? There is a link below in the description to my Twitch and my Twitter if you want to follow me there and watch uh, and watch the streams live. And as for right now, what's going up on the channel is uh, more Danganronpa V3. And as for the next stream that will happen, um, if I do have time later today, probably around 11 or 11 or 12, we'll play a little bit more of vampire the masquerade bloodlines and you know that'll be it as for the next time we play corpse party that won't be until next uh next monday night monday night tuesday morning um next week that's the that's the date right yep that's the date and yeah as for more stuff on the channel just keep an eye out i'm trying to work on the schedule seems like seems like the month of October did not go as as uh, swimmingly as I thought it would but no I'm trying my best and I think that's it for everything I want to say right now so as always I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video stay happy stay healthy and take care I'm a chef, chef to